Let's go, let's go. Who's in here? We got a fire topic. Pardon me for being a little bit late, fellas. I had a good workout, bro. This workout was... Who's in here? Who's in here? About to get started. We about to get started. Let everybody come in and then we're about to get started. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Tate, what's good? Gang, gang. Keenan Davis. Nah, brother, I'm not letting anybody get on lives with me, anything like that. You could just, uh, you could hit me in my DM and then you could uh, just hit me up, bro. Or you could book a one-on-one -on -one call. We can definitely talk about uh, how I helped you out. L-I-I-E, let's go. Fulo Tuco, let's cook. We about to cook in here. Taj Nelson, was good? Daniel, gang gang. Kulto Lujo. Oh, what's good, Eric? That was a good call last night, brother. Santiago the Savage, we bought a cook. Wade, welcome. Yes, sir. Nell from the fifth, we bought a cook. Karthik Raj, yes, sir. Corey Double S, what's good, my boy? Danny Aguilar, I got you. I'm going to answer questions after we get into the live. John Doe, what's good? The consistency. Ball Doll, I got you, bro. I'm about to hold us up. Rev Island, what's good? Shadon, what's good? Jay, we in this. Lives always be gems, dog. Yeah, today we have a fire live. Came up with this topic and, um, you know, a lot of dudes don't understand, so... I'm going to do the best I can to teach. We're about to get started. About to get started. We're about to get started, bro. I even wrote a whole summary for this because this is a very important message that I want to get through to you dudes. And I really want you to understand the mindset that you need to have when you're moving out here in this world as a man. All right. Nothing is coming before what you have going on. And the reason why you put things before what you have going on, i.e. women, is because you've been conditioned. But you have to unplug, rewire your thoughts, re rewire your brain, and make yourself first. Put yourself first. Become self-centered. Bro, I'm not, listen, when people are like, well, can't, look, I just did the nice guy video, right? It's going crazy. And you got people in the comment section, well, yeah, you could be a nice guy. Someone will appreciate it and blah, blah, blah. There's a difference between being a good man and a nice guy. There's a difference between being a good man and a nice guy. We need to understand and differentiate the two. A nice guy is trying. He has a desired outcome. He's doing all of this. Okay, so why is it that when the nice guy does all of this stuff, she takes her ball from the playground, she doesn't want to play anymore, he's mad. He was just being a nice guy. That's what he does on the regular. So why is he mad? Because he had a desired outcome. But a good man puts himself first, laces up his boots, goes to work every day, comes home, has a routine throughout the day, gets shit done, elevates himself. It ain't about no woman. Dudes, oh, I could be a nice guy and you could really be a nice guy. Forget all that nice guy stuff. All right, so let's get into the live, you know. I'm going to have a, a segment in the show where you guys can actually call in if you want to chop it up. If you don't, put your questions in the chat. You can send your donations. My cash app is Justin1091. My Venmo is Justin1091. Okay, the PayPal is Justin J. These lives are for free. 
you know, the one-on-one -on -one coaching, I charge for those. But if you want to send a do uh, donation, no matter how big, how small, I do not care. Anything is appreciated. But this is a free live. So if you have questions, put them in the chat. I'm going to pause in between this list I came up with, and I'm going to answer all your questions. And we're going to talk a little bit about everything in here, you know, chasing, you know, dealing with trying to deal with women at your job. If you have those questions, because I keep seeing them, put them in the chat. You know, the whole no contact thing, put them in the chat. We're going to go over it. OK, but let's get into the topic of today's live stream. And please, we have 64 people in here. Get the likes up. Like I said, this is a free stream. The likes are a must. I've got a bunch of stuff on this list. There's even a summary in the beginning. Please get the likes up. We're about to start because we're about to cook on this one. Yes, please get the likes up. Let's go. I'm telling you we're about to cook on this one. And you're going to even have this live for the playback. Let's get to, okay, let's get it. Okay, many men have been conditioned to chase women. You never chase a woman, rather you let her chase you. From a very young age, you've been listening to your mother, you know, tell you, treat women right. Treat her like a queen. Do the right thing, son. Even your father, if he was a beta male and you had him in the house, you know, you gotta treat women right and you gotta treat them like they're a queen, son. Right? You've been conditioned to think this. Even TV shows, the ads that run across the, the television channel. Every kiss begins with K. David's bridal and all this other goofy stuff, right? TV shows. You know, soap operas. You might walk in and your mom's watching one. You might sit across with your mom and start watching it. The Hallmark Channel. Lifetime. All this goofy shit. But that's not really what it is out here. That's a fantasy. Television, telling lies to your vision. Romance novels. Everything that they can push to be romantic makes a guy want to be romantic because in the TV shows and in the books, he gets the girl at the end. She's always chasing the bad guy. Suddenly, she overlooks him all the time. And then suddenly, after she's overlooking him, he wins in the end. That's in a movie, that's in a fantasy. But to tell you the truth, you know, all the filthy, provocative, and sex-filled uh, things that they push out, that's the woman's fantasy. That's what they cling to. That's what they, you know, they move forward to, right? Shows like Sex Life. You guys seen the Sex Life show on Netflix that came out? You think, who do you think they were trying to sell that to? Who do you think that they were trying to sell Sex Life, the show to, right? There's another show called Love. It's on Netflix. I'm, I'm even giving you guys gems. Go watch Sex Life. It's going to teach you a lot. It's going to teach you what not to do. And don't get it mistaken. Brad and the Cooper dude, both simps. Brad was not a bad boy. He was a broken simp. Okay? So the show Love is about some dude. I think his name is Gus on there. There's some white chick. You know, she's a, a thotty. And he's all, he's all like trying to change her and stuff. He's always chasing her down, chasing her down. And then there's a point in the show where he actually realizes his value. But the whole show is focused on this, this thought and him trying to raise her interest. Fifty Shades of Grey. Fifty Shades of Grey. That's the type of stuff that they push out. Right? Was she chasing him? Even though, even though at the end of it or whatever, you could say he's a simp or this, that, and the third, but you got to remember that type of stuff where the dude is toxic or, you know, the chick is toxic, that's what they go towards. That's what they go towards. So when you're chasing a woman, it doesn't make any sense. You're believing the lies that you see on the television, telling lies to your vision, okay? So one of the things I want to talk about and I want to start off this live stream with is talking about leadership. When you're chasing a woman, you're not displaying leadership skills. Here's an analogy, right? Let's talk about it. So does a job chase people down to hire them? Does a job chase people down to hire them or do people want to be hired by said job, especially if it's a good company? Because you remember when I tell you dudes, you have to brand yourself. 
See yourself as a drug. Bottle it up and sell that shit. You want people to get addicted to you. You want a chick to be addicted to you. You don't want to be addicted to her. So think about it. Does a job hunt people down that's already an established company? They're a good company. Do they hound people down to work for them? No. The person comes in, they apply for the job, they get called back in for an interview, right? So view yourself as the job. So the person comes to the job, do they say, well, I'm not going to be in on time. I'm not going to do this. You're going to have to chase me down if you really want me to work here. Is that how that goes? No. The only thing that they can say is, I would like to be paid this amount of money. These are the hours that I'm available to work. That's the only thing. But other than that, there's no negotiation. So when you chase a woman, you're not leading. You're not viewing yourself as an opportunity. A lot of dudes let women come in and dictate everything. Oh, well, I don't want to go here, so we should go here. Oh, okay, cool. I'm not wearing that. I don't care if you want. I'm coming over comfortable. Now, if you cop that list of 16 things, I'm not going to give it away, but you can get the gist of it. Chick's telling you, I'm coming over comfortable. What do you mean? If this is one of the first few times we're interacting, what do you mean you're coming over comfortable? You wouldn't even say that if you liked me like that. Do you think they tell a job? I'm just coming in comfortable today. Forget you. Forget your uniform. I don't care. You have to chase me. I'm coming in. They don't say that. Now, do they? Not at all. So think about it. When you want to make a chick your girlfriend, she's applying for a position. No. Are you not a boss? Are you not a dope ass dude living your life on your own terms? Okay. So then why wouldn't you view it that way? You know, when I tell you dudes to create your own reality, see in my reality, hey, look, and you could say it's delusional or whatever, but you got to be damn near delusional with this shit. This thing we call confidence because it's like your nose. It can't get taken off your face. It's like your ears. They ain't going nowhere. This confidence, it ain't going nowhere. So yes, I am the boss. I am the company. I am the trademark. I am the LLC and all that and above. Right? So she has to do what I say. My rules, my regulations, my start time, my end time. She comes over, you tell her to leave. Oh, but I want to sleep over. No, you leave. I'm not chasing behind a chick. Because here's the thing. When you chase behind them, like I said, leadership skills. You're not displaying leadership skills. Okay? She doesn't walk in the front. Here's another thing. When dudes take these pictures with chicks, you know, once you get experience with like body language and you just understand people better you're gonna start looking at these pictures and see she ain't really into him like that your family member could show you a photo of somebody oh they just got married in the and, and she's just looking at him in the picture like this he's like you know who's happy to be with who who works for who you never chase Never, ever, 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 ever chase a woman. You lose all credibility. You lose how she sees you as a leader. All right? Leadership is very important, not only when it comes to women. See, you've been conditioned to take the back seat, shut your mouth, and wait for your turn. No, 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 I'm not with any of that shit. And all my brothers, everybody who's watching this live, right? If you take knowledge away from what I spit, pay attention to this. You never wait on somebody else, dog. You never wait for somebody else. Are you going to wait to get fed? Are you going to wait to wash your ass behind somebody else? Huh? So why would you wait? Like, why would you, why would you wait behind a chick? Why would you wait behind anything that you want to go at? Why? Because you're chasing it. You're chasing it. See, a lot of people say like, you got to chase the dream. You're not even really chasing the dream because pay attention. The chase the dream most people are putting action behind this shit. So it's not really chasing a dream. Most people know that it's going to happen. It's only a matter of time. But you know how that happens? By shooting your shot. And let it breathe. Continue putting in work on yourself because you are the brand. You don't need to chase that. You don't need to chase that. If it comes to you, it comes to you. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But see, chasing the dream, most people look at that wrong. Oh, I'm chasing the dream. I'm going to keep chasing my dreams. And No, 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 no. 
You're putting in the work. Somebody reject you over here. Cool. Somebody reject you over here. Cool. But the work you put in don't stop. But that doesn't mean that you're chasing. See, when you think of the word chasing, you're thinking, oh, I got to keep trying and trying and trying with this person. Do you know that success is deemed in many different ways? It's all about how you see success. Do you know that? This is, this is all the things that you need to know to be a strong leader. A strong leader. You never chase behind a woman because you are not leading. You are following. Okay, which falls into number two. The difference between chasing and pursuing. I love it when everything comes full circle and comes together. So, you know, I just said chase the dream. It's more like pursuing the dream. That's what I meant when I was saying what I was saying before about all the background work that you have to do. I'm not chasing this chick. How they say chasing a dream. Why would you ever chase a woman? You can pursue a woman. You know, you can tell her what you think about her. You can approach her. You can leave her with your number. If she wants to go out with you, cool. If she wants to text and go back and forth, cool. But to be constantly hounding this chick down. And a lot of dudes, I catch this, right, in the live stream chat and on my videos under the comment section. It's like, oh, well, she wasn't texting back fast enough. All right. Cool. She doesn't have to text me. Women have free will to be who the hell they want to be. She doesn't have to text me. Because my success with her doesn't define who I am as a man. Right? So why the hell I care if she takes five hours, eight hours, 10 hours, 12 hours, 24 hours? Let her take her sweet ass time. Because I'm not chasing her. I already said what I had to say. Now, she can match energy and we can go back and forth and meet up. And that is pursuing. See, pursuing is on both sides. This is the difference, right? 134 people in here, 74 likes. Let's get the likes up. Let's get the likes up. So the difference between chasing and pursuing, right? See, when you're chasing, you want to keep coming forward because you want a certain outcome, right? And even if the outcome doesn't go the way you want, you will still keep chasing. Most dudes get it messed up and say, oh, that's pursuing though. Oh, no, 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 that's pursuing. I'm not doing too much. Yes, you are doing too much. Pursuing is from both people, both people. You hit the ball, she hits the ball. You hit the ball, she hits the ball. You hit the ball, she hits the ball. There can be no game played. Okay, so like with sports teams, can a game go on if both teams don't show up? If you're, pay, like use the sports, let's use a sports analogy. If both teams don't show up to the field, the court, whatever, can there be a live game? Can there be people in the stadium if both teams don't show up? No, because you can't have a game with just one person playing. That's chasing. That's chasing. That's exactly what it is when you're not getting your energy reciprocated, but yet you're still coming forward and forward. Pursuing would be you inviting her, you giving her an opportunity, because remember, you are the opportunity. You are him and they are them. She doesn't want to, you know, partake in the opportunity, you. She doesn't want anything to do with you. Cool. You let her go. But remember, if she does and she's giving you that energy and coming forward, then you can come forward. Then you can make things happen. That is pursuing. You are pursuing each other. You're pursuing making something happen with each other. Most dudes have been conditioned to chase. For what? You know, a lot of the times dudes care about what these women are saying. Oh, well, I'm, get your passports, bro. We're going over to the West. Uh, forget these Western women. We're going, we're, we're going over, we're going, we're leaving the West. The West is doomed and blah, blah, blah. The only people who are going to use that rhetoric and talk like that are people that actually give a damn about what women say and what women think. Because how can it affect you if you're not chasing women? Why would I have to go somewhere and go abroad or go overseas for what? There's women here. You live in a time where women are giving it up easier than ever. Because dudes want more than that. But they're not going to outwardly say that. They're going to be victims and shame, blame, complain, and remain the same. They're going to be high value tricks. Cheaper dates over there. A woman will come and approach me. A woman will make things easier for me. I don't like things easy. 
Because remember, being a man, you have to do the hard shit, no? So, you know, chasing and pursuing, you have to know the difference. If you don't know the difference, you are going to get played. But you've been conditioned, you need to unplug. Stop it with the chasing. Now, we got 140 people in here, 99 likes. Before I go on with the list or answer questions, we need to get the likes up. Because the next one is fire. The next one is fire. Likes up, likes up. Come on, we got a whole list here. We got a whole list here. Likes up, likes up. We're only at number three on the list. We're about to get into number three. Get the likes up. Hey, guys in the chat that are asking all these questions, tell them to get the likes up. I want to answer questions, but I got to get through number three to get to the questions. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm glad you appreciated that video, brother. You can, you can obviously, I'm going to talk about that too. Okay, number three, you've been conditioned to take, uh, to take love instead of respect when really it's respect over love, dog. Why does everybody want to be loved so bad? Why? Because if you loved yourself, you wouldn't be chasing after love. See, that's where it starts with self. You have to put, that's why I say you have to put yourself first. What is, what is love without respect? It's nothing. Absolutely nothing. What is love without respect? So you would rather have love and be liked than be respected. But you've been conditioned for this, man. You've been really conditioned for this. But I know what I want. I'd rather be respected. See, when you put respect over love, people don't have to like you, bro. Women don't have to like you. But guess what? They have to respect you. And you can never chase a woman when you respect yourself. See, the problem is a lot of dudes chase behind women because they don't respect themselves. Respect will get you far. Love won't get you far. You guys ever seen the 50 Cent movie? Get Rich or Die Trying, he said, show no love. Love will get you killed. That was the realest thing ever said in that movie. That was the realest line in that movie. You can have love for people. People can have love for you, but you always got to be paying attention to the actions. But other than that, falling in love. Oh, when am I going to find love and all this? What is wrong with you, dog? I want all of you guys to recognize that you've been having lies told to your vision. It's not about love. Love your mother. Love your sister. Love your aunt. You know, love the love your love your loved ones, okay? But don't love, don't be trying to love on a chick. Love your life. Love your bank account. Fall in love with success. I don't fall in love with women. See, see, listen, this is gonna become full circle because I take my own advice. Therefore, I want you guys to know that I live, eat, breathe, and sleep this shit. I don't care about the sex with a chick. You know what I fall in love with? You know what I take a liking to? When she does everything I tell her to do. Hey, I'm going to need you to run to this store before you come over here and get me this and this. 
See you at eight. Okay, I'll have that ready. What do I keep saying? When she does what I say, I love that feeling. When I tell her, yo, get on your knees. And she gets on her knees. I love that feeling. When you get over here, I'm going to need you to vacuum and do the dishes. Oh, I already know. I'm going to be ready at eight. Love that shit. So why is it that dudes want the love? Because you know if she's not saying shit like that and doing what you want her to do, there's never going to be any love. I love when chicks do shit and I don't have to ask her to do anything. Because it shows me respect. You understand how that works? I don't care about the love. You could keep your love. Why do you think I'm so easy? When a woman plays game, all right, keep your box. Give it to somebody else. Get out of here, Dusty. Why do you think I'm like that? Because I want the respect. You got to fall in love with the respect. You got to want the respect. You can't prioritize anything over the respect. See, love comes after anyway. Here's the thing, too. When you focus on being respected, the love comes after anyway. Even with haters, dog. Haters don't. You think a hater don't like you? A hater does like you. They just haven't accepted it yet. And that's free game. A hater really wants to fuck with you, but they just can't come around to accepting it yet. People come in my comment section. People say shit all the time. But everything I say is the damn... It, bro, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come off like this. You might see it as my truth, but everything I say is logical. There's never anything that's delusional off the wall. Bro, you know this shit the truth. You just live like a weaker individual so we can't mix. And that's perfectly fine. You still gonna respect it though because you wouldn't be here in the first place if you didn't see somebody worth watching. You wouldn't be here in the first place if you didn't see somebody like elevating others. You understand how that works? People do not have to like you to respect you. Worry about what you're doing. Never place love above respect. See, with that conditioning and shit, they'll tell you that all you need to do is love her. Show her love. Show her affection. Be that guy. What does that get you every single time? How does my channel exist? How does any of these channel, these uh, these dating and self-improvement channels exist? Because you tried that way. But I get hundreds of DMs and stuff like, you know, I started moving the way you say to move and everything's going right. My business is going correctly. My dating experiences are going well. You know, women don't even give me a problem that much. I take rejections, I move on. Yeah, because you're moving with, you only want respect. Never accept love. You see, when you dudes want to be loved so bad, a chick can love bomb you. A chick knows how to run game on you. And because you've been conditioned to chase love, to seek love, shit, games get played with you. Yep, you end up with your heart broken. Face flat on the ground, boom. You were so high off the love. You were so high off the love. Boom, now you're on the ground. No respect, looking like an idiot. That's what I'm saying, bro. Everybody wants this like cute, cuddly tea party, cutting finger sandwiches. And, you know, I don't like the way you said that. Okay, so in the army, are they yelling in your face and telling you, move, soldier, telling you what to do? Or are they like, oh, soldier, can you please pick up your gun? Please, we're about to train, please. And thank you. And all that. No, that's not how it goes. When you're on a football team, and your coach is trying to get you right. Is he fucking yelling in your face or, oh, you know, it's okay. We can just try the play again. Or does he want the play ran a specific way? And you don't pay attention to how he's saying something. You pay attention to what he's saying. And then what does that do for you? It makes you run the play the way he wants you to run the play. Because he's not taking anything less from you. He wants the respect. And through there, you know, you know how to play. See, when you prioritize respect over love, a woman knows how to treat you. See, most dudes are paying attention to, bro, I'm not a cook on this one. Most dudes are paying attention to the shit women say. The other fools that they play out. Why do you think I tell chicks? No, 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 no. Go, go ahead. Go on, to the, go on to a dusty. I'm not worried about what you think and all of this shit. Because the only person that's going to worry about what you think is a weak ass individual. So go on to them. Because you don't even like them anyway. And y'all come to regret it in the end. But see, if I was a sucker who wanted to be loved, I wouldn't believe any of that shit. I wouldn't even know any of that shit. Never worry about what a chick is saying. 
because she wants to respect the man. Chicks only run around out here doing this goofy stuff because they haven't bumped into a man that's worth their time. I'm telling you like that. Once they come across a dude that they can respect and that holds her to a certain standard and see, but that starts with having the boundaries with himself. She's like, oh shit, it's a real motherfucker. But you dudes need to wake up and realize a lot of dudes are blaming women because they're not the guy. They don't have a standard. They don't have boundaries within themselves. Like they don't have that. So what's the best alternative? Oh, well, I can't find anybody to love me, so uh, uh, instead of looking inward. And that's what's going to happen. You're going to turn to some soft, cookie-dough-ass, Michelin man-looking motherfucker, some beta male. You don't even respect yourself. But you want somebody to love you. You know, I don't hold, I don't hold punches on these lives, bro. I do not hold punches on these lives because my whole thing is to make you better. You do not put love over respect. You respect yourself. And then a woman comes in and she can respect you. But if you got this mentality and you're still being conditioned to chase after women, you're going to place love before respect. Nothing good is coming your way. Remember that. Hold on, I'm going to answer some questions. We got a whole list, guys. Don't worry. Taj Nelson, my 82-year-old grandma told me today, women only want your money. I asked her why. She said that's how they are made. That's not true. A woman only wants your money when you are not the guy to her. You have to overcompensate because you're not the guy to her. Because if you were the guy to her, there would, bro, she would spend her money on you. See, a lot of dudes don't really interact with a lot of women or deal with women on their terms. They don't really deal with women that like them like that. Hey, my, my, my main chick bought this. My main chick bought this. Um, What else? If we go in there, she just bought over a bunch of groceries, two big ass bags full of groceries the other day. Um, what else? What else? What else did she buy? She bought the lights that go across the in the room in that room. I mean, she don't use me for money of anything. She's spending her money all the time. So that's definitely not true. And then the chick before her spent her money on me. Like, you get what I'm saying? And then the chick before her spent money, came over here. The, the list of 16 things, guys. You know, I saw a comment under the video of, uh, what was it? The night, oh, the Cheesecake Factory chick, right? And um, I'm, I'm saying in that video, you know, one of the things on my list, because every dude needs a structured program. That's a lot of the times where guys have problems because you're all wishy-washy. You're flexible. A real man is not flexible. You have a list. People think, oh, you're a nerd because you literally jotted down a list. Yeah, you jot it down and then you deal with enough women until that shit is just... It's kind of like your routine, your daily routine. It's just locked in there. One of the things on my list, she got to come over this way at least three times. Now, she don't even got to come over to my house on the first link, right? But she does have to drive over here or drive like if she's an hour away, 45 minutes away, and I'm picking somewhere that's literally right by my house, she got to come over here. What is crazy about that? She wants to have a good date like further down the line, right? These are one of my requirements. Not taking you out on some fancy date. Seeing some chick come in the comment section. Oh, and I don't even be letting negativity get too far. I read the first line of the comment. Oh, that's crazy. A chick got to drive to you three times. Blah, blah, blah. I just said delete. Delete. Delete, bro. I don't care about none of that shit. Because when a woman is doing all that, guess what? She's burning up her gas. She got to put money in the gas tank. No. And that shows what? She's interested. Women don't use you for your money, bro. If anything, you need to be making women, you know, invest in the simplest ways. It's not true. Women do not use you for your money. When they like you, they like you. It's easy. Now, we got 192 people in here. I'm answering questions. You can ask whatever you want. 196 people in here. Let's get the likes up, bro. I'm answering questions right now. You can get your question answered. Just set, like, just put a like, bro.
Corey Double S, thank you, bro, for the super chat. Karthik Raj, you are the best, bro. You taught us a lot. Can't wait for more videos. I got you, brother. This is everlasting. We're not stopping. 191 people. Get the likes up. Guys, do you want me to start doing these lives and putting them on Patreon where you have to sign up or you want me to put them on some website where you have to pay to watch the lives or just should I move these lives over to the membership so you have to like pay for the membership to see the lives? Should I start doing that? What do you guys think about that idea? Get in the chat. Taj Nelson, all true, man. Yeah. Matt Lord, and not chasing a woman doesn't mean you shouldn't make the first move. Chadon says, those soap operas, man, I remember being little playing in the living room. That's all my mom would be watching. Yeah, because, you know, women are in it for the drama. And there's a cliffhanger every week. If you pay attention to those type of shows, every week, somebody might be getting cheated on. Every week. There's a love triangle. Every week, they leave it on a cliffhanger, and women love drama. Women don't like um, dudes who chase and all of this shit. They like the drama and the excitement. Lucas says, yo, Justin, I appreciate you helping us, man. I appreciate you helping us, man. I've improved from the last live when it comes to no contact. See? These lives are free, bro. My videos are free. Drop the like. Drop the like, bro. Taj Nelson at work. This 38-year-old married woman wants my attention so bad, my guy. So forms problems out of nowhere for EG. Telling my boss I'm disrespectful because I don't say please or thanks. Keep moving the way you're moving. When you move around a job like that, it frustrates them because you don't care. But see, as long as you know how to do your job good, your boss can't really do anything about it because they need you. Sometimes, look, at jobs, yes, you need to pay your bills. But when you do your job good, they need you more than you need them. Because if, you, if it's a job where you can easily go somewhere else and get the same job, they need you more than you need them. So make sure you're always on top of your A game. Do your job to the best of your ability. And this chick is just going to keep getting aggravated. I saw somebody tell me um, women hate a confident man. Women don't really, like women don't, women love a confident man, but they hate, one thing they hate about a confident man is they can't knock him off his square. So if she like you, you're confident, you're not giving her attention, she can't stand that. Remember that, bro. So just do your job to the best of your ability. Rev Island, bottle it up and sell it. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you, bro. You're the brand. You need to brand yourself. Bottle that shit up and sell it. Edo Diller X, but if she's making it clear she doesn't like me like that, don't pursue, just go no contact. Exactly. You don't pursue after a woman that don't like you. Y'all got something on this list that's going to bend your brains. It's going to bend your brains. I think it's the last one on the list. They always, uh, Damon Flagg says, they always say, would you rather be loved or feared? Love is usually on a conditioned basis. The only people that love you unconditionally is your dog and your children. But respect is always, but respect is always, that's a fact. Baba Fitness says, I don't make the chasing. I let them make the chase because I am him and they are them. Thank you, brother. You understand? Hack Media says, can't even figure out if someone really likes you if you chase them. That's a fact because you're always coming forward. You're never giving that person a chance to come forward. So nine times out of 10, she ain't going to buy you nothing. <laughs> nine times out of 10, she ain't going to do nothing. She ain't going to go out of her way for you because she sees that you're flexible and you're willing to go out of your way for her. It makes no sense. W 
Delson Yanga. Hi, Justin. I'm 16 years old. I just want to say thank you for helping men to reach for greatness. I got you. I got your back, brother. That's what I'm here for. Somebody says, I appreciate the lazy and unproductive video you upload. I needed that. I'm about 20 pounds overweight right now. I want to say something about that, too. You're, uh, thank you, brother. Um, that's what I do it for. I'm here to help. It seems to me in these spaces, if women isn't attached to the title, y'all don't care. What is up with that? It's funny how you got to talk about women to tell motherfuckers how to boss up, level up in their life. But when you put a video out trying to help them with their mentality, which is the most important, trying to help them with the way they see themselves, which is the most important, they don't care. They really don't care. And I heard somebody say something too. Uh, who did I hear? I forgot who said this. A lot of y'all don't feel good about yourselves. Y'all watch YouTubers and y'all watch all this shit, but y'all not trying to, you know, apply what they're saying to your life. You need to start applying what a lot of these dudes say, myself included, other uh, content creators that, you know, preach self-improvement. If you can see that they've literally gotten results, you need to apply it to your life. Don't just watch the videos about, oh, never chase women and, you know, like the one I just dropped, 10 things women will say when they're not into you. So you can now, you know, when a woman not into you like that, but do you know yourself? Do you love yourself? Do you know what you want for your future? Do you have a routine? Do you? Those videos are the ones that should be getting flocked towards the most. The finance videos, all that shit. Not the women, bro. Really not the women because it's not all about the women. It's about you because when it's about you, you easily see that women serve themselves up to you. Oh my God, you're so handsome. Yeah, I know. Tell me something I don't know. Oh my God, you're so confident. I know I'm this confident, sexy ass dude. What we doing? Oh my God, you know, I like you so much. I know I'm a likable guy, man. It took me a long time to get this way. What's up? Does that come from them? No. This shit is already inside you, bro. Like a lot of the times when dudes are like, how can I become more attractive? It's already inside you. It's already here. You just haven't unlocked that shit. Right? Because you know to go get a razor, right? You know there's stuff out of there that takes the acne off your face, right? You know that there's a, a different type of cologne that will make you smell better, right? You know you can start dressing better, right? You know all of this shit, dog, is inside of you. But you just need a motherfucker to come along and push you. But it irritates me when a dude tries that and they only flocking towards the shit about women. These funky ass women not special. This is exactly why I said the title of the video today. You've been conditioned to chase women even when you don't think so. Even when you don't think so, you're still chasing them. Oh my God, bro. She's wifey. How the fuck you know that? Oh my God, bro. She's so bad. What the fuck is bad? What is good? Oh my God, bro. I would shoot up the club. Why the fuck would you do that? You ain't even successful yet. You ain't got no money. You ain't got no, you ain't got no stability. You have no foundation. Why the hell would you go do that work for? Because she looks good. So you don't love yourself. You're chasing after love. I just thought that was really funny, but I'm glad you appreciated that uh, somebody. Cool vibes. What do you think of men cheating? Men don't cheat when they're honest. Men don't cheat when they're honest. Understand, I will re I'll repeat it again. Men do not cheat when they are being honest. So if you don't have a chick, right, that you can be honest with, you don't respect yourself. You don't love yourself. Why am I hiding from, I don't even hide from my own mother. I don't hide from nobody, bro. Where I'm hiding from a chick. If I want to go do something with another chick, I will go do something with another chick. So that's why when chicks catch shit in the phone, then I explain that story when, you know, I always saw potential in my main chick. But I had to test it out, man. There were a lot of things that I was seeing that I was liking. But one night, you know, my Hinge app went off and I had girls texting my phone. We were in the bed. I just reached for the phone. I thought in my mind, you know, fuck it. It's the perfect time to test it. I just... Started texting chicks. She looked over. I'm like, yeah, I'm in my hinge profile. She didn't freak out. 
Then we talked about it. I was like, um, you cool? She's like, well, you know, it's weird, but I know I'm gonna have to compete with other girls for you because like, I'm not stupid. Do you understand? Now we rocking. Now we rocking. No title, no exclusivity. We're gonna ride it out. We're gonna go through the month. She's gonna get properly vetted. She's doing everything she's gotta do. And I never had to lie about who I was from the beginning. Because look at me. Of course I get girls. Of course women like me. Why the hell am I going to hide myself and hide who I am? For what? For a woman? That goes into the whole like chasing them. The fuck out of here. Women know when you get women. So the only time it can even be considered cheating is if you're lying. Like a punk going behind the chick's back. Just tell her what it is. And see, here's the thing though. Most dudes are like, but I'm going to lose out on the woman. Chasing. It's even chasing when you don't think about it like that. Change the dynamics in your mind. Really think. Exactly. The abundance mindset. If this chick has to leave, she has to leave. Because dudes who are good with women who dictate their own life, who live life on their own terms, understand that if she don't like something, she got to go. If she doesn't like something, she has to go because as a man, all right, when a woman deals with a man, she's got two options, dog. Cooperate or leave. Cooperate or leave. Third time for the people in the back. Cooperate or leave. But see, most of you dudes don't view yourself or most dudes in general don't view themselves as the prize. They don't view themselves as that dude. They don't take the time to put in the effort every day to be the motherfucker who they are. To say like, oh, I'm rare as hell. I'm valuable. So she better do what the fuck I'm saying to do. Or else she can go to the Dusties. It's that simple. But when you don't see yourself like that, you're like, oh, well, if she finds out the truth, you know, she's going to leave. Okay, well, let her leave. What's the worst that's going to happen? What, your muscles are going to get bigger? You're going to get a tighter haircut? I mean, you're going to uh, buy new cologne and smell better. You're going to step outside and approach more girls. You're going to get on dating apps and swipe more. I'd be like, what is the, the consequence to a woman leaving? There is none. So if you view it like that, you don't have to lie to women. Well, that's my thoughts on, you know, men cheating. I don't even believe it's cheating. Only cheating if you lie. What uh, Trey Moore says, what is your take on dating single mothers? I mean, if dudes want to do what they want to do, do what you want to do. Personally, me speaking, we're not dating, though. We're not dating. We'd be fucking. That's it. See how you guys got to stop making things complicated? Why you want to date a single mom for? It's easy to hit. What you want to date her for, bro? What do you really want to date her for? That's what I would say. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. You know, again, if you want to do whatever you want to do, cool. But my take on it is why do you want to date this chick? That's the only thing, like the only question I would have is like, why do you want to date this chick? Because you know that you're not going to get her best effort. You're not going to get all of that stuff because you're not the prior. You're not a priority for her. Now, like I said, again, dudes, do whatever you want to do. But I'm saying, why do that when you can find a chick that doesn't have any kids? I mean... We're supposed to be working smarter, not harder, right? Like, that's what's logical. Facts. Mick Darren says, you can meet women anywhere. Facts. Genuine guy says these hoes gonna choose up. So then why is this all this talk about like Pookie and Ray Ray? Because aren't those the guys that run the streets that have nothing? So what do you mean they choose up? They just choose right to them. They choose the sexually appealing guys. So if you mean like choose up in like other ways than just money, yeah, then women choose up. That's why you gotta be one of the dudes that are up. Luca says, some of us aren't even old enough to pay for our own stuff online because of parents. All right, well, Luca, as long as you drop the like, you don't got nothing to worry about. Gen Genuine guy says, if the women that are interested in you, not who you want, change your environment. Exactly. It's that simple. And I keep speaking about this. What do you mean it's not the ones you want? 
What do you mean it's not the ones you want? Is this chick utterly disgusting? She's fat. Y'all guys got to start being able to put women to work. Y'all got to stop looking at things like, oh, I'm going to be in a relationship with this chick. Stop looking at it like that. All right, I had a homie, right? Let's get into this. I had a homie who, you know, I got stories for days. I remember this is when I got this tattoo. I think I was about 19 years. Yeah, I was 19 years old when I got this tattoo. So we were going to some tattoo artist's backyard and he was doing them for super cheap, right? My boy, it was me and three of my homies. My boy didn't have not one dime in his pocket. He popped up on my Instagram too. I was showing my chick this morning. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, this is the dude who I'm telling the stories with. Like one of the dudes I, I knew in my life that was, oh, he always had women. Didn't matter if they was attractive, the ones that y'all think is bad, mid, whatever. He always had chicks and there was always a benefit. He always put a chick to work. So this chick, and I'm telling you, I'm telling you, y'all would consider this chick mid, right? So we were going to get tattoos. We all had our money. We were meeting up. We we're about to head out. He's like, yo, I got to tell you, I don't got no bread and shit. Like, I'm like, all right, well, we about to leave. He was like, hold on real quick. Went upstairs. I think he left, he left his cell phone upstairs. So he went, grabbed his cell phone. He called the chick. He's like, yeah, I'm about to get tatted. I need some money. She was like, okay, no problem. I'll be there 2.5. Handed him the money. This same chick, when she be at work, when we were young, like what, 19, 20, she'd have his car. I mean, he'd have her car. We'd be in her car driving while she was at work. She always, like the chicks always came with a benefit. He always made them work. He always got something out of it. That's the power of game. Thank you. Like these dudes are so focused on the woman looks. This always comes back full circle. You know, You've been conditioned to chase women. You've been conditioned to fall in love with the eyeliner, the makeup, the lashes, the waist trainer, the BBL. All of this goofiness. What can the bitch actually do for you? Once you figure that out and you start loving the feeling of a woman doing what you say, bro, this shit, bro, game changer. Game changer. And I keep telling you, I, I even gave you a story in a video, bro, one of the... I'll never forget this chick. So good looking. Fat ass. Hips was like this. Ass was like this. Chick that was in the gym and everything. We was chilling. It was nothing but rocks up here. Bored as hell. I didn't even really like her like that. So, like what? Was I supposed to be chasing her because she's bad and all that stuff? What the hell is wrong with y'all? It's like y'all act like y'all never seen like a good looking chick. Because here's the thing about the, the best looking chicks or whatever. Y'all want the respect, y'all want the submission, y'all want all of this stuff, or y'all wouldn't be complaining. You really think you about to get it? Because you know it comes from you. You have to love yourself. You have to have boundaries with yourself. Can't be, oh, she's bad and she's this, so I'm gonna, this is what most dudes do. Oh, well, she looks good, so I'm gonna do this for her. Oh, she looks good, so I'll do this. Oh, well, she looks good. Do I have to approach her a different way because she looks so good? Bro, is this chick Jesus? Like, I'm not understanding. A chick's looks don't got nothing to do with nothing. Focus on your looks. This whole chasing women thing. Because you don't view yourself as nothing. Chase your looks. When you walk in a spot, do you walk in and people just be looking? Oh, my gosh. You even see those same type of chicks looking at you. Oh, shit. Like, looking at you and shit. So why would, it, why, why would you get nervous or, oh, she's bad and shit? Bro, he's in Target the other day. Them same type of chicks y'all be talking about. I'm with my chick, though. He just, he just, looking through aisles and shit and looking around and shit. Bro, can't help it, dog. Can't help it. That, that sex appeal. When you got the look, it, it can't help it. But most of y'all worry. Uh, y'all do the same shit but reverse. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Let a chick walk past. Oh, yo, you see that, yo? Oh, my God. Why not turn into that and it be the opposite? Because you know it make everything easier, right? And you look good, you feel good. And you don't got to chase nothing down. I just had to go off on a tangent, bro. I had to go off on a mini rant right now because that shit pisses me off. Yeah, we're going to get Hermit up out of here. Bye-bye, Hermit. Um, Mick Duren says, how important is facial hair? I don't know. It's, it's important. That if you want it to be important, it's, I guess it's important. You know, it just it, just, it depends on how you want to look, bro. I like the way I look with facial hair, so that's why I rock my facial hair.
Isaac Fisher says, love your content. Thanks, brother. Dark Lee, do women scope out your other female friends to see what their competition are all through? You are not even dating. The, your female friends aren't even competition to other women because you're not supposed to be friends with them anyway. It would be competition if you was fucking with them and you didn't hang out with them enough to let other women get the signal of he's got female friends. It would be more of a signal, oh, this dude's fucking but I could already tell when you're saying female friends, women don't care, bro. Women do not care about that shit, bro. If one of them chicks ain't, you know, try to make you their boyfriend, you're nothing, bro. I mean, not, I'm not disrespecting you, brother. I'm just saying, like, what do you mean these female friends? They're not competition to another chick. When a chick want to get with you, bro, she's coming forward at you. You just got to have women, bro. You got to have women and you always got to have it. The understanding of, yes, I'm fucking, I'm that dude. Using words like female friends and shit. No, 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 no. Bruce Wayne said, never chase women diagnosed with BPD. You never chase women, period, bro. Like, what's up with you, bro? Like, that doesn't make sense. You never chase women, period. Black, white, green, blue, purple, whatever. Nothing, not, never. And I could have swore you left a comment like that before. You holding on to something, bro. Let it go, brother. Let it go. All right, let's get back to the... Oh, hold on, hold on. Sean Williams, big facts, never chase a bit. Hey, yo, this my boy, bro. Him gang, naughty gang, consistency. This the brotherhood, a fellowship. We got 226 people in here. Let's try to get the likes up because we're returning back to the list. Guys, if you have more questions, put them in the chat. Okay, number four, showing your intentions with your actions is important and free no money required when dudes are always trying to raise a woman's interest you're trying to chase her you're literally trying to chase after her you've been conditioned to do this you don't have to take a woman on an extravagant date that's why i made that video you don't i even give you 10 options of uh, places you can take chicks you don't have to take women on extravagant dates. When they really like you, there's no need to chase them and try to raise their interest like that. You ever wonder how it's so funny that, you know, like I said in the video, I've been topped off in the park a bunch of times. I remember this chick I DM'd on Instagram. We went back for a little bit, back and forth for a little bit. I said, yo, meet me at Century Park. She met my ass at Century Park and she topped me off in the bleachers. We didn't know each other like that. We didn't know each other like that. So why is it that you can't go to the park with a chick when you first meet up? Let me tell you something. If any chick tells you, you know, I'm not going on a coffee date. I do not accept coffee dates. She's looking for you to chase her. And if you chase her, you're a beta male scent mangina. That's what the hell you are. When a woman really likes you, okay, she just wants you to show pure intention. That's all. And you're being a man... By showing pure intentions or making your intentions clear. This is what I'm trying to do. You can say it in any way you want to say it. Yo, I think you're sexy, so I have to come over here, introduce myself. What's your name? This is my name. Put your hand out. Oh, excuse me. You know, I saw you walking over. I saw you walking, and I figured I'd come over here. You know, I just had to stop you and talk to you. What you getting into today? Oh, yeah? Well, I'm about to go over here. Maybe we could do like an instant date or something and slide out. Anything. Pure intention. You tell a chick, come over, and you say, yo, come over. I got a bottle of wine. I'm trying to sip with you. That's your pure intention. What you try, you're you not trying to smash. You just want to sip some wine. Now, if you want to smash, I want to sip some wine, and then look, once we get a little cozy and shit, we're going to make shit happen. Pure intention. Yo, your lips are way too sexy to not be kissed by mine. Close your eyes, I want to kiss you. Pure intention. It doesn't take all of this like money and uh, like what you do is with this uh this money and status. 
Are you fucking nuts? But then you turn around and complain about Pookie and Ray Ray. They don't have no money. These dudes are driving their car while they're at work. These dudes are, you guys think that they're degenerates. Talk to them like they ain't shit. Put them in their place. They don't have a lot going on. But they win with women. Low cost. Because even with them acting the way they act, their intentions are clear. You're just not that special to me. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to go and fuck other women. You're going to cry about it. Hey, you know, I won't ever do this again. They, like, the lie is even clear. I'll never do that again. She knows he's lying, but she just, she fucking with it. Those are his intentions. Pookie knows how to screw. Look, bro, from the moment he gets in her, dig, stroke, dig, stroke. He making his intentions clear right there. You thought I was sexually appealing? Yes, the fuck I am. No cost. No cost. So when you think that, you know, my intentions have to be gentlemanlike. I have to spend money. I have to make a good impression. Bro, that's that conditioning that you have of chasing women. You don't need to do any of that. Think about back in the day, right? It's goofy, but really think about it. Since you guys want to go back to the 1950s and 60s and all this stuff where it was easier to keep a woman and all this goofy shit, wasn't it easy to just take a flower out of the ground and give it to a woman that you like? And then she'd be like, oh my God, thank you. That was for free, right? Back in the day, you used to make a couple sandwiches, put some juice in a bag, Maybe some wine coolers, you know, cut some fruit, and go have a damn picnic. And chicks were like, oh my gosh, you're so romantic. How did you pick this hill? This hill is so high. I can see all I can see the, the, the heights from here. And you're like, oh, don't worry about it, baby. Like, how you like your sandwich? This is just what I do. I'm an, I'm an explorer. Isn't that how it used to be back in the day? All free. Some of your moms and dads, you know what their first interaction was? Sitting in the car talking to each other. Him driving her to like some cliff or whatever. They're just sitting in the car talking, letting the radio play, getting it on in the backseat. Everything was free. A lot of y'all was created in the backseat. Free. You've been programmed and conditioned to think that you need to spend money to make your intentions clear to a woman. No, 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 no. That's why a lot of y'all not direct. Rather than be direct, you rather just tiptoe around shit and then invite her out and then take her somewhere. Oh, I'm going to impress this woman. And then after we go here, we're going to go here. When all you really got to do is just make your intentions clear. You don't got to spend a bag. You don't got to spend no money. I don't understand why a lot of dudes believe that you have to spend money to raise her interest. Fuck what? Make your intentions clear. And that's, that's it's as simple as that. But see, that's that programming, and that's why I put it on the list. I want y'all to understand that. Number five. Like I said, I was saying before, dudes don't understand this. Women don't have to like you to respect you. Women will respect you. So you don't have to chase. Here's the thing, right? I had a one-on-one -on -one, uh, with one of my subscribers, and he has this girl at work. I told you, we're going to talk about the whole work shit. You know, he's got this girl at work that he wanted to approach, and he was so nervous. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Da, da, da. I told him what to say. I said, you can either say it exactly how I'm telling you to say it, or you can, uh, you know, whatever words you want to put it in, this is how you say it. But I said, you're going to call her right now after we get off this call. He's like, let's so call her right now. Yeah, you're going to call her right now. We're not doing any of this shit because fear isn't real, dog. Fear isn't real. You make it real. Think about any horror movie you ever saw. The moment they wasn't afraid of the shit no more, that shit went, started losing all his powers and shit, just went away. Fear ain't real. But when you was all fearful, you saw him in the movie when they were fearful and scared, the shit just kept growing and growing and growing and growing, and kept coming for them, coming for them. Because they thought fear was real. Fear is not real. So he ended up uh, FaceTiming a chick, told her, yo, I'm interested in you. I'll be watching you doing work. You know, what are you doing Friday? She told him, you know, I'm seeing somebody. He kept me updated. He's like, can we jump on another call real quick? We got on a call. He was like, you know, I got it off my chest. This is how it went. This is exactly how it went, whatever. 
And he was like, but everything's cool now. It doesn't feel like anything. I said, yeah, because, you know, you're going to be respected at the end of the day. See, she might not like you, but she respects you. Understand that. You shoot your shot at a chick, she don't like you. That's why she's not accepting of it. Or maybe whatever's going on in her life, but she respects you. My main chick even said that. She was uh, going on a jog in the park. Some dude who's not attractive to her came and approached her. She was like, oh, no, no, thank you. But she told me, yo, some dude uh, approached me today. And it was like, he wasn't attractive, but he was super confident with his approach. And I really, like, I respected it, you know? So women do not have to like you. They can respect you. But for you to take a rejection and think like, oh, if I keep coming forward and keep chasing... She's going to like me. No, 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 no. Now she don't like you. And now the respect is gone. Like, look at this idiot, bozo, clown, sucker, simp, beta male. This dusty ass clown. Why does he keep moving forward? You know, that's free entertainment, right? So I don't know why a lot of y'all do it. I know you've been conditioned to, but by now you've had to be dropped on your face plenty of times. You understand what's going on. Do not be a chick's free entertainment because there goes the respect. If you want to approach a woman, just approach, bro. Approach. If she's not into it, she's not into it. But you don't have to keep chasing. Remember, go back, rewind when this is finished. The difference between chasing and pursuing. Never keep coming forward, bro, because you will lose all respect. All right. It's like these all tied together. The next one, self-love speaks volumes, bro. You chase yourself, right? You chase making yourself a little bit better than you were the day before. Self-love. A lot of y'all wonder, what's the perfect thing to say to a chick? Go in the bathroom, look in the mirror. Go in the bathroom, look in the mirror, and start talking to yourself. Start talking to yourself. You are your own best friend. Work up, Work on your game. Pretend you got a chick in front of you, bro. Start spitting. Start spitting. So you have it down packed. By the time you go in front of a chick, you're like, I already know what I'm going to say to the chick. Now, if she's accepting of it or not, cool. But I love myself. When you don't love yourself, you're not practicing. You're not putting in the work. You're not doing the reps. You're not trying to become a champion. You're not trying to become champion minded because you don't love yourself. So how could a chick really fuck with you like that? You're just going to be one of the dudes chasing Self-love speaks volumes, dog. And you can never chase when you love yourself. You're always trying to perfect your craft, perfect your game, perfect your image, perfect your life, living situations, all that. And it's for you. It's not for a woman. But see, the thing is, when a woman comes around you, she could smell it off you. She could see it in you by the way you move. You're authentic, bro, because you love yourself. But see, the dudes who chase behind women, they don't understand that, dog. They think this is the way it's supposed to be. They think that these things are normal. When a chick is telling dudes stuff like, yo, well, I don't usually do this, and I ain't going over here, and I don't do coffee days. Dudes are like, oh, shit, like, you know, word. I got to um, try to raise her interest. No, the hell you don't. The hell is wrong with you? No, the hell you don't. But you would know that if you love yourself. Like, bro, ain't about to do what this goofy ass chick says, bro. You know how much self-love I got, how much self-respect I got? Never doing that. So I want y'all to really, like, pay attention to that, bro. Self-love speaks volumes. That's why a lot of people will look at you like, yo, what is this guy? Who is he? Who does he think he is? You understand that? That whole confidence thing? The whole loving yourself? People look at you like you're the outsider. Like, who the hell does the guy think he is? You're just minding your business. You might be doing, like, your job to the best of your ability. You might even be out in the store just walking, but you got that walk. Like, you're that dude. And people are like, yo, who the fuck is this guy? Man, I don't see no cameras behind him. Why he acting like that? And it's like, but see, if they love themselves, they would see you and be like, oh, shit, my tribe. But see, that self-love speaks volumes, dog. Okay, next one. All right. King's treatment means you treat yourself like a king. She just follows suit. See, a lot of y'all think that these women are queens. Go ahead, queen. Go off, sis. Women ain't no damn queen. You need a king to become a queen. Am I correct? 
So then what do you want to be? If you want to stop chasing and be that motherfucker, how do you need to treat yourself? See, it all ties into to everything comes back full circle. Like I said, self-love, self-respect. You want king's treatment. That's why I post this shit. I post on my Instagram. You know, my main chick rubbing on my feet. Hell yeah, she rubbing on my feet. Giving me back massages. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Bringing me groceries, filling the fridge. I don't waste money on groceries anymore. Maybe I'll buy like a protein and stuff of that sort, like energy drinks. Other than that, I don't really pay for groceries. She bought her groceries. King's treatment. And you know why? Because I treat myself like a king. I treat myself like a king. She can't even be around me. Before I jumped on the live, we was working out together in the home gym. I treat myself like a king. So if she wants to be treated good, I have to treat myself good first. And for her to even treat me good, I have to treat myself good first. Then she reaps the benefit of me treating myself like a king. She sees that I treat myself like a king. Therefore, she will start treating me like a king. But most dudes don't understand that. Got to treat yourself like a king. Got to love yourself. Honor yourself. Have boundaries made within yourself. So when a woman steps in here, a lot of dudes are like, right? Well, I don't want to deal with fat chicks. And I don't want to deal with a chick that's mid. And I don't want to do... But you know if you were a proper leader, right? You ever hear... Um, who says this? You know, the adjustable seven? Or like a six or a seven? You can adjust this chick. All, all you have to do is take her under your wing. A lot of y'all not leaders. A lot of y'all dating options, bro, y'all like goofy chicks too. Like, you know how goofy chicks be like, I want a dude over six foot. They goofy as hell. That's that's already like a low percentage of the population, right? Now, here it goes. What about the ones that are taken? What about the ones with no sex appeal? What about the ones that are boring? You just limit your, your dating pool down. A lot of you dudes are focused on the, 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 the baddie and the eight, nine or 10 or whatever the hell y'all say, right? Okay, now how big is that pool? You would even think, oh, it's pretty big. Yeah, but they're always looking for something, as y'all say, right? I'm going off of what y'all say, right? They're always looking for something. All right, yeah, shout out OG, unk. shout out my uncle, shout out Ron Wills. Yeah, the adjustable seven. So with um, with y'all with this number scale and shit, y'all think y'all want these women, but realistically, why don't you just, I think it was Austin Dunham who said this. You know, as a select dude, as a, a handsome dude, or a good looking dude, you should only go a point below you. So, bro, anywhere from seven, eight, if y'all want to use that rating scale, like I tell you, it's a myth because looks are subjective, but y'all like to use it, right? Let's make sense out of this. If you're an eight as a dude, right? Why you can't fuck with a seven? If you're a seven as a dude, why you can't fuck with a six and fix her up? Make her ass get in the gym. Pick what she wears. You know, my main chick, one of the things that I, I really like, when I'm telling you, I was noticing things, how she had potential. A lot of y'all talking about, oh, I want a chick, I want a chick uh, to dress for me and only me. This chick would text me, and she's not even chilling with me. She's going out somewhere with somebody else to text me, like two different outfits. Um, do you think this one shows too much on my stomach? What should I wear today? And that's what y'all want, right? Y'all gotta pay attention to certain shit. Y'all gotta pay attention to a chick if she if she y'all gotta pay attention if she's letting you lead, bro. Because you can always elevate a chick. How do how is there fat chicks, right? Who lose hella weight and they look hella good? Y'all always want these ready-made chicks who are looking for a ready-made dude. And y'all not even that dude. Y'all not rappers, you're not ball players, you're not athletes, you're not none of that. But see, here's the thing, though. If you treated yourself like a king, y'all with this looks money status, that shit wouldn't even be in your head, bro. You'd be like, what, dog? Some chick that's bad and look good, bro, you kick her out the same way you would kick out a six. Because you treat yourself like a king, dog. Y'all don't really understand this shit. Y'all want king's treatment. Y'all want chicks to uh, bring you things. Come to you. Be on your program. Have dudes approach them like, hell no, shit, I'm good where I'm at. Y'all want chicks to act like that. That's why y'all afraid of chicks going on girls trips, chicks going out to the club, chicks doing all of this shit. Because you fear another motherfucker can snatch her from you. But when you view yourself as a king, you already know she would be silly as hell to do some shit like that. I dare her to play herself out like that. Go ahead, good luck. Not a lot of kings out here. There's a lot of pawns. 
But there's not a lot of kings out here, bro. Y'all got to start understanding that you can actually build a woman up, bro. Stop looking for these chicks because y'all say the same thing about chicks. It's no fear. It's no fear. She wants a ready-made man. And women, uh, women don't, women don't help you build the house. They just move in. Exactly. Chess all day. This is chess. It's not checkers. A lot of y'all thinking checker-minded. A lot of y'all flock to these spaces that tell you, it's their fault. It's their fault. It's their fault. Who the fuck are you though, bro? Do you treat yourself as a king? Because you know if you want that treatment, you got to treat yourself like that. Exactly. A lot of men let pretty women disrespect them because they're pretty. It's goofy as hell. Oh, well, she, she bad, so I got to do this shit. Like, get the fuck out of here, bro. What is wrong with you? A lot of dudes like that, they'll bring a bad chick in their house and won't tell her, oh, it's a couple of dishes in the sink. And, um, Actually, I got some laundry in the hamper. I'm going to need you to fold those before we head out. Just going to be like, what are you talking about, bro? I get on one-on-one -on -one calls with dudes all the time. Yo, my chick looks really good, bro. Like, really good. I'm like, yeah, but she won't do what I say, bro. Like, it's almost like she was doing it a little in the beginning, then it just fell off. And I guess it's because I, I think it's because I was treating her good. <laughs> that happens all the time. But why was you treating her good? Because she looked good. You see how looks don't equate to much, though, right? And here's another thing. When you're an attractive dude, you automatically know you can attract another attractive woman. So you wouldn't even be sweating this chick like that. It'd be regular to you. But you're used to chasing women. You've been conditioned for this shit, dog. So I want you dudes to understand that when you treat yourself like a king, like I tell you, dude, you think I'm fucking around when I get out of my car, you know how you get out of your car and then you go to close the door and then you meet the mirror, like you meet the mirror. I'm like, damn, I'm cold. I'm like, God damn, I'm cold. Like I'm really me, dog. That's how I see myself, bro. Hey, look, call it narcissistic. Call it, uh, you know, you're self-centered. I don't give a damn. That's how I see myself, bro. That's how I see myself. Whenever I walk past the mirror, like, I told you, we was at Target the other day, walking past mirrors and shit, and I'm like, God damn, bro, like, sheesh. You got to look at yourself like that and treat yourself like a king. I love cooking healthy for myself because I'm like, damn, yo, my muscles about to eat. I'm about to fuel myself. Whenever I work out, I'm like, afterwards, I'm looking at myself. I'm like, damn, bro, you, you're making progress. Or like, damn, bro, you're getting leaner. Or damn, bro, bro you're getting bulkier. When I get my hair cut and I see myself in the mirror, I'm like, damn, bro, I should have tipped my barber. just. A, I should have gave him a little bit more because my, my, my hairline is a little bit more crispy. Like, he really did his thing. Like, God damn, bro, he be making he be helping me because he be helping me be him every day. Like, damn, dog. That's how you got to view yourself. You got to treat yourself as a king, dog. But other than that, don't go out of your way for women. Don't be chasing them because y'all really want one, one treatment. But you don't treat yourself like that. You're looking for her to do that. And as a man, what do they say in this space? Men don't need women for much. Because if you wanted to pay to play, you could pay to play, right? If you if you wanted to get on a dating app or whatever, and even if you wanted to lower your standards or whatever y'all call it, and fuck some a fat chick, right? You could do that and just get it off every once in a while. You don't need a woman to do anything. You make your own meals. You know, you do everything. for You could do your laundry. You do everything. You could clean your house. You do everything for yourself, right? So why is it that you're looking for a woman to like give you love and all of this goofy shit if you're supposed to love yourself and treat yourself like a king, right? Right? Hold on. Who, who, who is this? Who is this? I should have turned the moderators off. So we'll get you up out of here. Yep. We don't need no hateration in this dancery, dog. Get your goofy ass out of here. But, um, yeah, bro, you got to give yourself king's treatment. You have to understand that. Okay, number eight. Women can never disrespect you if you respect yourself. We're going to get into approach anxiety. Why dudes take it so personal. You know, there's videos online of women, you know, telling dudes, ew, get away from me and I don't like you like that. And dudes feel some sort of way about it. But you have to know that this is what comes when you, this is what comes with approaching women. Not every woman, you're not going to be every woman's type. Not every woman is going to like you. Women might have an attitude. Women might say, ew, hell no. Get away from me. I have a boyfriend. No, thank you. Who do you think you are? 
flick their hair, keep walking. You have to understand that. Most dudes take it and internalize it and think I'm being disrespected right now. How, how dare she uh, act that way towards me? You got even videos online talking about this is why men stopped approaching women. Okay, cool. Well, you know women don't, like, bro, even though they make the videos complaining, you know women could just, like, get banged out, find some sucker simp any day of the week. A lot of the times they complain is because they don't want that guy. But you need to understand this. You not approaching women does nothing for you, dog. Bro, then go move abroad and go move overseas. Why are you even here? You should be having a time of your life, bro. So, like I was saying, when y'all thinking that women are disrespectful and that's why you're not approaching and blah, 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 blah. You have to understand, a woman can never disrespect you when you respect yourself. Oh, she tripping. But see, most of you guys feel embarrassed when you approach a chick and she tells you like, hell, nah, I'm good. What the fuck? Nah, why, why would you even come over here, bro? Because I'm not going to pretend like... You know, women won't do that when you're not the guy to them. Yeah, women will do that sometimes, but you cannot take it personally, bro. All right, Steph Curry is the best three-point shooter in the league. What's his shooting percentage? Well, let's actually look that up. Steph Curry is the best three-point shooter, right? But let's look up his shot percentage. Steph Curry. Shot percentage. says it's 47.5 it's 47.5 so you so you mean okay so let's 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 equate things let's uh use analogies and stuff right so if it's 47.5 you ever think has he ever had a shot to win a game and missed it probably out a bunch of them right shots that he should have made he missed them where he, he, maybe he had to carry the whole team and he missed the shot. And then they're like, oh, shit, like, we really needed you. You didn't come through. You never thought, like, shit like that happened. But then he let shit stop him or he kept shooting, 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 shooting. Because he respects himself. He puts in the work, bro. To even be called one of the greatest shooters. Because he puts in the work. So if a chick, you feel like a chick is disrespecting you, okay. How does that affect you that a chick told you, yo, you're not that guy? Self-love, King treatment. If you already feel like you're that guy, how can what a woman is saying to you make you feel like you're not that guy and like she's disrespecting you? But you've been respecting yourself all day long from the moment you woke up, right? You approach this chick and she tells you like, ew, nah, how, what? No. You've been respecting yourself. Okay, all right, now I'm going to continue on my day respecting myself. She doesn't view, she, we don't see the same things anyway. And here's the thing too. That's just proving to you that you're not compatible. You're not like-minded. Because if she's not looking at you like you're the shit, and you know you're the shit, why the fuck would you want to deal with her anyway? Remember that, bro. This is crazy to me how, you know, it makes sense to me. Because I just live in logic. You know, like I said, you could be in touch with your emotions, but don't be emotional. You know, I'm just, in, I, I'm very logical. I'm very, very logical. If I feel a certain way about myself, but she's not seeing me that way, then I don't want to fuck with her anyway. I don't want to. I'm going to always bring up this one story in particular because I found this shit so funny. When I told the chick, yo, let's meet up. She said, what do you mean by meet up? I, instant put, I instantly put, never mind. You saw the, you know when somebody's texting and that shit pops up? Like, you're waiting for it to come through? And then she's like, no, 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 no. She was like trying to scramble. No, 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 no. I just want you to differentiate what you mean by, you know, let's meet up and this, that, and the third. Because I'm looking to be taken out on dates. And I told you how fast I deleted and blocked everything. How did I know that she was about to say everything? How did I know? How did I know? I'm not a guru. I'm not none of that. I'm not a psychic. How did I know? What do you mean by meet up? That's how I knew. It's that fast. A lot of dudes get on the one-on-one -on -one calls. They're like, wow, how the fuck you know that? When I just start talking and shit? Yeah, it's water. Got the whole Brita here. Um, but how do you think I know that, bro? I don't deal with none of that shit. By you doing that, you show me that you don't see me how I see me. We're done here. That was in like, bro, I sent a, I sent a, a message. She sent the message. Done. See how fast that is? 
A woman can never disrespect you. A lot of dudes, y'all be talking this shit. Yeah, 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 we're gonna do it at the end with the with the calling. But um, a lot of dudes don't understand that, bro. Y'all be always thinking, oh, well, she did this and she did that. Yeah, 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 good for her. She did all that shit, but did you allow it to happen? Did you allow it to keep happening? Did you recognize something was wrong and get the hell out the way? Or did you allow it to keep happening? So she was able to disrespect you, but see, when you respect yourself, a woman can never disrespect you, bro. It's all in your mind. It's all in your ego, actually. You're like, oh, well, she said no, so she, she disrespected me. Or she did it in front of everybody. Man, I don't give a damn. Shit, I'm that dude and everybody know I'm... Look, if, if people think like me, they know I'm that dude. If people don't think like me, I don't give a fuck what they think anyway. Doesn't that make sense? So never feel like, you know, you don't have to... You can't approach women and you got the fear of rejection. And fuck all of that shit, bro. Because a woman can never disrespect you when you respect yourself. You just instantly understand, well, she ain't fucking with me, so I ain't fucking with her. I'm going to keep going on about my day respecting myself. And that is what's going to have you... You know, that's what's going to have you with the mindset of, I'm never chasing a chick, dog. Never. Makes perfect sense. That's how I feel. Thank you. Never. It puts you right in that mindset. I ain't never chasing no chick. Number nine, right? Yeah, this is nine on the list. You can't lead from behind a woman. You can't lead from behind a woman. And, and, and it's coming next. You know, put your questions in here. I'm going to open up the line soon. You can talk about the women from work and all your questions about dealing with the women from work. I know you guys like that shit, but um, yeah, you can't lead from behind a woman. A lot of dudes don't even understand that. You know, you're always chasing a woman. You're opening the door. You're doing all of this shit, dog. Like, bro, you got to let women be who they want to be. You got to let women fend for themselves, bro. You really want to be with like some weak ass like chick? Like, yo, bro, here's my thing. I don't like combative. I don't like chicks who argue. I don't like any of that. But a chick that just get up in the morning, do start doing shit, like she doesn't need me to tell her to, I love that shit, bro. I love that shit. But you will never get that energy if you're behind the chick. That's where the combativeness, the arguing and shit comes in. When dudes accept that shit, you're trying to Leave from behind and it don't work like that. How you start is how you finish. So just remember that when you're chasing, you can never lead from behind. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Put her to work. Put the chick to work. And if she don't want to go to work, cool. Because remember this, a chick always going to submit to somebody. It's either going to be a real man or it's going to be the job or it's going to be like Uncle Sam or whatever the fuck. But she's going to submit to somebody. So, bro, why don't you be strong in your spot? Why aren't you strong in your spot so she'll submit to you? See, a lot of dudes think, exactly, we don't want lazy chicks. A lot of dudes think that they have to bend over backwards for a woman, you know, really be trying to like just do all this shit. No, she should be able to do shit for herself, bro. And do shit for you as well. All right, let's get into it. And I'm going to get to the questions because... I know you guys want me to answer the question and start opening up the line. So, dealing with women at work is chasing unless it's handled like this. Listen up. A lot of you guys, I'm going to say it again just in case people are just coming in here because I know y'all love talking about this shit. Dealing with women at work is chasing Unless it's handled like this. If you're not making your intentions clear with this chick. If she's not getting touchy feely with you. They all entitled to some degree. What do you mean by that? Women are entitled to shit. There you go with that shit. You're, listen, if you listen to what a chick says or whatever she wants or whatever she feels that applies to you say in your experience before you say that shit that is not true now let me continue i'm gonna say it again for the people in the back <laughs> dealing with women at work is chasing unless it's handled like this if you are making your intentions clear with this chick Y'all getting touchy-feely. You're advancing forward. She looks at you. You look at her. You make eye contact. Yo, come over here. 
She stops, talks to you. You're flirting. She's laughing, she's giggling, and you're telling her things that you, re like you really want to make something happen with her. Then she's reciprocating like, oh, word. Then you're moving forward. Yeah, let's meet up outside of work. She says, okay. She meets you up outside of work. Y'all start getting to it. Y'all making things happen. Y'all kissing. Y'all touching. Y'all fucking. That is not chasing. If you dudes are at work and she looked at you, she touched you on the shoulder. She said, how's the weather going? A uh, fancy day we're having. Can you pass me that? Trying to trying to flirt, but not like to do too much. Not trying to meet up with you. Not wanting to exchange numbers with you. She's not coming forward at you. She don't like you. And if you keep moving forward, you are chasing. I'm tired, bro. I'm really tired. And I keep giving you all these stories about how women have made it so easy for me at my job. Jumped on it. I'm, I, I, I gave it a moment of silence so you understand how real this shit is, bro. When a woman is making it extremely easy for you, there's no none of this confusion. There's no none of this shit, dog. All it is, can I deal with a woman at work? Of course you can. But don't sit around here beating around the bush and being in a fantasy and thinking like, oh, this shit is going to be all peaches and cream and shit. It's not. And honestly, it's going to fizzle out fast anyway. And y'all not getting the fucking... Y'all thinking this is cool because like some chick will immediately be there. That's like chasing in your brain. Chasing in your brain. Bro, whenever I was dealing with chicks at work besides one chick, you know, we were kind of like dating. Besides her, I was always fucking. My mind was on the fucking. It wasn't on any of this other goofy shit. Being like consistent with her and all this stuff. So you guys have to understand that. Like the difference between chasing and pursuing too. You guys have been like conditioned with this shit. Why would you want to deal with a chick at work? Why? Because it's easy? Okay, cool. I'll give you that. It's easy. But are you getting the fucking or what? A lot of you guys like misinterpret this stuff. You get it confused. Now like, oh, she looked at me. Oh, she said this. Oh, this. What did she do? What did she do? Exactly. Thank you. Women at work normally just want attention. Unless she make it easy, she's a waste of time. Thank you. That's exactly why a lot of you dudes are confused about a woman at work. That one-on-one -on -one call I had, right? You my bro, because you instantly took my advice. You instantly applied yourself, and you weren't afraid. He got over the fear, and he straight went after what he wanted. But think about it. He was saying it was months he's been thinking about this chick. So for months, been thinking about this chick, wanting to approach this chick. Nothing was ever clear-cut and concise and direct. For months, thinking about this chick. Got rejected, boom, now it's gone. Now you don't got to think about her no more. Now you know what she thinks about you. Now you know how she feels about you. That's the reason why a lot of dudes are not direct with chicks at the job because you don't want to realize that you're not the guy. And even when you do, right? Exactly. The more you think about it, the more it makes sense. But like the whole thing with like wanting to deal with a chick at your job, bro, that shit, if you get women, see, this is the thing too. I'm not coming at you guys. It's just kind of like, it is what it is, but it's learning. Don't think I'm trying to disrespect anybody. Y'all not getting girls like that. You're not getting girls like that because why the hell would you want to deal with a woman at your job because there will be multiple women at your job that like you. A lot of the times that shit could fuck shit up. Y'all be thinking like, yeah, chicks be choosing because, you know, they'll see you with a girl and that creates social proof and all this goofy shit, man. Stop with that shit, bro. If you get with a chick, right, sometimes it can backfire. And you want to deal with a bunch of chicks, bro. You don't want to be. And then what if something goes wrong? A lot of y'all don't have the strength to walk through the fire every day at y'all job. I do. That's why I was good at it. But a lot of y'all don't. A lot of y'all start moving backwards, being mean. Like, going like oh, this bitch, bro, I don't even want to see her no more. Because, like, she'll stop fucking with you or start fucking with another dude. And then you'll be like, oh, my God, bro, this third, third. You're still chasing. I equate all of that to chasing in your mind when you're still giving a damn. So that's what I'm saying. Shoot your shot at work. Okay. Do it that way. Be direct with your actions, okay? Don't be tiptoeing around shit. Because when you tiptoeing around shit and you're trying to be nice to this chick at work or whatever and you're thinking, oh, this shit could work out, you're chasing a woman, bro. And here's the thing. You're chasing a woman over your goddamn paycheck. 
You're not even thinking like, yo, damn, how can I work more hours this week? No, 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 no. I want to see if I can talk to this chick. I want to see if I can get to know this chick. Man, get to know more hours, dog. The fuck is wrong with you, bro? And like I said, you ain't trying to get the fuck in. You're trying to take her out. Nope. Everyone not going to stay single. Exactly. At work is crazy. Like, go get the money, dog. Like, why y'all all, all want to chase these women at work? Yo, bro. And I want to I wanna, uh, play off of what my boy said in the, in the chat. When women are at work, I explained this in a, I forgot what video it was, but I explained. Attention is a woman's currency. So when she's at work, it's double time. Double time. It's double time to get attention. I'm getting paid, yet I'm getting attention at the same time. So when y'all thinking like she really liked me and this, that, and the third, bro, pay attention to what she's doing. So, okay, if you figure a chick likes you at your job, invite her over. Invite her out. And ASAP, ASAP. Invite her out. Uh, stop this chasing shit. Right? Let's make it make sense. If we've been working together for a while, I like her, she's been giving me the looks. Why would you not say, yo, what are you doing later uh, tonight? What are you doing on Friday night? What are you doing? All right, I think, come over to my place. Or if you want to go get ice cream, coffee, or whatever... Bro, just do that shit. But wasting all this time worrying and thinking for months and planning your future. See, this is what I'm telling you. A lot of y'all dudes be living in this fantasy world you've been conditioned to live in. Invite the chick over. It's the same thing as like being a pen pal with a chick on a dating app. You know you want to fuck. You know you want to meet up. But you will continue to talk. You'll continue to talk. Invite the chick over or invite her to meet you somewhere. Let's get this shit rolling. Let's get this shit rolling, all right? So remember, if you deal with women tiptoeing around the pussy, basically, at work, you are chasing. If you are direct and inviting them to the opportunity, which is you, you're not chasing. If she rejects, she rejects. If she accepts, she accepts. M6205, chase a check in your purpose. Never chase a chick. That's what I'm talking about, bro. KO Surge says, had about three women approach me at my job. Am I handsome? Bro, I don't know. I can't answer that. It's about how you feel, bro. Hack Media says, I need to go out and meet people in person because I found plenty of fake profiles and scammers on apps now. But see, yo, everything I tell y'all is game. That's why I tell you I play FaceTime heavy. And if she ain't trying to get on FaceTime, she done. So many things are happening while you're on FaceTime. Walk around your crib, right? Your apartment's nice. You're on FaceTime. Like I said, I'll be on FaceTime in the tank top and shit. Oh, shit. There's that dude right here. Like, you know what I mean? Then she's seeing your mannerism. She's seeing everything. You got to play FaceTime heavy and make a chick comfortable. Like, damn, I'm really about to fuck with that dude. And then on the other side, you're getting to see who the chick is. You know? A lot of dudes complain about chicks being dirty and, you know, not wanting to clean and shit. All right, well, get on FaceTime. Have her walk around. Yo, walk around real quick. That's how you avoid the scammers and, and whatever on the apps. But don't let that be an excuse, bro. Text drive H. High school don't mean shit, bro. It's about how you end up in life. Exactly. ECBSB, old African proverb, the man wears the crown, the woman guides the neck, the man builds the house, the woman decorates it. Yes, I, I agree with that. Way of the Kodiak, uh, Kodak, how can you want King's treatment and not treat yourself like one? I know dudes that think it's weird for me to eat a nice steak alone. I always say you don't love yourself like me. That's why. Exactly. Exactly. You know what's funny? You know that cheesecake shit where she was acting all goofy in the car? If I was him, I would have still went to the restaurant. 
I'm not letting this chick rain on my parade. Fuck that. I and mean, she, I would have never drove her home in the first place. But I'm saying, so I'm saying, man, you know, you got to appreciate yourself. You got to love yourself. And see, like I told you, didn't I say, bro, everything I say is true, bro. I'm telling you, damn near everything I say, you're going to realize like the truth. When you treat yourself like a king, when you hold yourself to specific standards, when you make boundaries with yourself, other people are going to look at you like you're a fucking weirdo, dog. Like something's wrong with you because you don't follow the crowd because you're not in the herd of fucking sheep. You're fucking lying, bro. So they're looking at you like, you know, a lion and a fucking sheep can't hang out. You get what I mean? So I, I, I really want to I put that message out there, too. If you live your life and you hold yourself to a certain set of standards, fuck all the naysayers, dog, and the people that don't know shit. Because if you're building success and you're seeing what you're doing is working and you love yourself and you respect yourself, fuck those other people because they don't feel good about themselves, bro. Remember that shit, bro. WH5XP OG blocks. Yes, I was just having this conversation this morning. If she don't chase, pack your case and move on. Yeah, I mean like, bro, women love to chase men. Women love to chase men. What do I, you know, I was just saying this example the other day. You know, like when a woman has a, a dude who has multiple baby moms or mother of his children, and then it's always the chick who gets the ring that's like, ah, like arguing with them. But who got the ring though, bitch? But who got the ring though? But who got the ring though? They love to chase a man's love and affection. They love competition. Women love competition and it's a love-hate thing. They love when they're on the winning end of it. They hate when they're on the losing end of it. Women love competition. They love to chase for a man love and affection. But see, when that's not happening like that, she ain't that into you or she doesn't see you as a dude worth chasing like that. So yeah, then it's time to go. Rev Island said facts. I gave my barber, my barber 50 two weeks ago. That's family facts. Always tip your barber. Always tip your barber. KYX Limitless says, if she sees you as a strong leader, she will do whatever you need, even if you are broke. Yes. And then another thing, like how I said, you know, I give you guys examples of things so you can even navigate your dating life. Like I said, one of the examples of why I made my main chick, like why I put her in that position, like sending me pictures like, babe, does this show too much of my stomach? Like, yo, like, what should I, uh, these are two outfits that I was thinking of wearing. Like, what do you think? Or should I wear something different? Things are going off in my head. When we first met, bro, I acted like I was broke. I did it on purpose. I'm like, damn, yeah, bro. Like, shit is touching right now. I don't got no bread. She was like, oh, like, what you need? I'm like, oh, well, you know, there's some groceries and shit. She was like, yeah, hell yeah, let's get in the car. Let's go. I wasn't broke. I wasn't broke. I'm bro, far from broke. I was not broke. But I'm just doing these things to see these things. That's why I want y'all dudes to understand when they're telling you this shit, like, this status and, and, and money and shit, bro. I never told her I had a YouTube. I never told her, like, nothing, bro. I never told her. I just acted like I was Justin, bro. Like, that's why I want y'all to understand that shit. Ninja the Real says, Leonardo, wake up. What's the word? What's the move? What to do? I have to do to elevate and excel. Do your task and immaculate and immaculate your soul. Don't let your mind conform to others' pressure. Keep your mind focused. Facts. Facts. Para Dominican, men need to get more comfortable being alone, learn to value their own time. I was just saying this shit today. I was just saying this shit today, like, you know, if you go back in my, my catalog of videos, that one video, why men must be comfortable being alone, yo, that shit hit really deep, bro, because let me tell you something, man, I used to be the dude where they're like, yo, where's the house party, where's the frat party, where's this party, yo, call Jay, I've, I've been that guy before in my life, you know, I told you guys I used to deal, 
I used to deal, uh, you know, pounds before. But I remember like one time, my dealer had a bunch of molly and he didn't know what to do with it. He's like, yo, you ever heard of this molly shit? And I'm like, nah. He's like, well, this is a half a zip. And I'm like, oh shit, what the fuck? And I'm like, he's like, yo, just do whatever you can with it. And then just, we'll split the money in half. Because at the time, we didn't know about it. So I was like, okay, cool. Bro, I was going to parties, sprinkling this shit in people's hands and shit. Like, being a life of the party, bro. Like, y'all got to understand. I wasn't satisfied with that, though. Like, when I look back at it now, being alone was the time where, bro, I got to know myself better. I got to know what I want, what I don't want. I got to elevate. I got to be on top of my finances. Like, all types of shit. Being a party dude and all that goofy shit, like, yeah, it's cool for a while. Like, everybody like you. People invite you places. But it's nothing, bro. Like, when you're alone, you get to know yourself. So, yeah, man, men, men got to start being comfortable being alone. And I think that's where a lot of this shit stems from, with, like, chasing behind feelings and love and all of this goofy shit. Michael Lund, what's good, my boy? Chris Drop Gem says, Justin giving different type of game. Yes, sir. Dex Sport says, if I ask for her number and she gives me Instagram, I look her in the eyes, nod my head, no, and tell her, you didn't even know, you didn't even know any better and I walk away. Why is you even saying any of all of that, bro? I'm trying to be all like clever with your shit, bro. Just walk away from the chick. Be like, all right, have a nice day. Walk away. See, even by you doing that, you look affected, bro. I get it. I get what you're trying to do here. But even by you, Dex Sports, you didn't even know any better. Like, what are you telling her that for? That's like with that whole goofy ass, we got to hold them accountable shit. That's what that sounds like. Don't do that. Just say, have a, just ha have a nice day or just walk away. Just walk away, bro. Why is that so hard? By you saying you didn't know any better, that's like you're taking it inward, bro. Para Dominican, a woman at my job tried. A uh, woman at my job tried to use me to not work that day and got mad at me when I told her to work. Got to respect yourself. That's a fact, bro. Don't let these chicks run game on you, bro. All right, Rubber Man, Justin. What about having a call-in show where some of us can call in and talk to you live? Some YouTubers do it sometimes. This is a live call-in show. I'm about to get there. We ain't going to be talking forever anyway. <laughs> like... Guys, here's another thing I want to throw out there too. You have to invest in yourself. I do these free lives so you can put this stuff in the messages. But you understand that like you can book a one-on-one -on -one call with me. The rates are cheap. You can get on call with me for 20 bucks, bro. If you want to tell me whatever, bro, we could talk. 20 bucks. I just do this because I know, I bro, I have uh, an audience that are like 17, 16, you know, 18 even that don't have stuff figured out. So they want to, you know, ask questions and stuff. It's just $20, bro. We can get on camera. But I'm going to drop the call-in number pretty soon. Michael Lund, I knew I Michael Lund, I knew you were gonna comment on the one about like the, the work situation. Cause from I read your comments all the time and it's like, yeah, dude really learned his lesson. Dude really and look, you know, even the last time I went for a chick at my job, you know, I'm really good at this shit, so I instantly knew when to get out the way. Cause she wasn't about shit, you know, and I tell you guys, I don't I always get it cracking at my job, but you know, it's something about Michael Lund's comments that's hilarious, bro. Like, hilarious, because it seems like he really learned his lesson. He'd be telling other dudes, like, don't do it, bro. Don't do it at work. <laughs> Michael Lund, don't chase at work. They could turn around and say harassment and say they kept saying no or some shit. 
Now, I don't agree with that because I'm not used to that. So I see like in your experience, that's what happened. But I'm glad that you learned because you always saying that. It's funny, man. Like, don't do it at work. Let get out of here. Marquel McLaughlin says, why chase women at work, though? Get the bag and go outside and meet chicks easy. That's all I'm saying, bro. And But here's the thing, though. They, they living in a fantasy like most dudes are living in a fantasy because there's really nothing wrong with it as long as you're fucking. As, like, you get what I'm saying? As long as she coming forward at you, she wants you, you want her, that's it. That's it. But see, that's not what's happening in these scenarios. Dudes is seeing her. She might not even know they exist or maybe she looks at them or some shit. And now they're like fantasizing about the chick. Which to each his own. Word, do what you want to do. But they're not making anything happen. So it's just wasted time anyway. And it's not really wasting time for a woman when she's going back and forth and exchanging words with you because she's getting attention. Bro, who is Philippine? Filipina thoughts, man. Stop it, man. Dex Sport says, if a girl really likes you at work, she will throw it back on the desk for you. Like, what are you talking? I think this is a troll account, bro. Sensei Stealth says, yo, Justin, I'm 21 and thinking about taking a big, a big risk Moving from Canada to Australia for a better life and career opportunities. What are your thoughts about taking big risks? I think that you should honestly do that, brother. I honestly think you should. If you know that you can handle it, listen, this is what I'm going to tell you too. You have to be comfortable in uncomfortable situations. So what I mean by that is you're going to place yourself into a situation where everything is new to you. You're going to have to adjust, but that's a good thing. You want to be placed in those situations. You want to test yourself. You want to actually go after what you want. I think it is a good move that you move over there. I was on a live stream with another brother who said that it was actually the best decision that he ever made to move over there, but it is very, uh, really expensive. So I think that you should, you should go. Taking big risks are, look, it has to be this way. It has to happen. It really does. Because if you don't take the risk, when you take risks, it breaks down that wall of fear, bro. I'm going to tell you like that. A lot of dudes fear the unknown, but when you take a risk, you start to know more than you think because you're taking risks. So now it's all about your experience. So in my experience, I took a risk and it works. Now I take the next, the next thing that seems like it's a risk, it works. All of a sudden the fear, that shit goes away, bro. Things are not a risk to me anymore. Now let's equate this back to women. It's not about women, but I'm just trying to say that's why most dudes are afraid to approach. That's why most dudes are afraid to say what the hell they want to say. Be direct. Because they have that fear of the unknown. But if they took the risk and went after what they want and got it time and time and time again, they would never let the rejection get in their way. They would never let the bad times get in their way. They would never let shit get in their way. They would be comfortable and they would be used to the feeling of going after what they want. So now let's take it off of women and bring it back full circle here. I think that you should, bro. I think that you should. Stocko, him gang member. I appreciate you, bro. Sorry for being absent in the past months. Life's, life's catching up so busy. Glad you're still around. Brother, I appreciate you for that. And listen, bro. If you're busy in your own life, that's what I want, bro. I want the best for all my brothers, bro. I don't want anybody sitting on YouTube, living on the internet. Yes. You guys watch my videos, you use them for inspiration, but if you're busy in your own life, I want you guys to create your life. I want you guys to create your reality. I really do appreciate that though, bro. He's been a member for a while now. Double O C D says gold gold stuff. Glad I subscribed yesterday. Word up, brother. Yasin says, bro, I'm dealing with this girl right now. It's crazy, especially since 
<clears throat> Especially since I work at the airport, I get a lot of attention from women, but when I try to approach, they all be acting weird, so I don't bother. All right. What's, uh, I, didn't, I thought it was like a question. I was a little confused. All right, yeah, so don't bother with them then. Just leave women alone. Go to work. Do your job. Cronith says, yo, Justin, I approached one girl at work. It didn't go in my favor. I see this other white chick at work and I got her number. Should I approach? Even though I already approached her friend? What are you talking about? I approached one girl at work. It didn't go in my favor. I see this older white chick, this other white chick at work and I got her number. What should I approach? Bro, you got to restructure that because I'm I'm confused. KO Surge says, you heard of scalp micropigmentation for baldness? No. No. Para Dominican, men chasing these women at work, just feeding their ego, getting nothing. And they chasing my attention because they find it crazy. I'm just trying to work. Word up, bro. Bill me. Yo, Jay, can I ask you something? Have had a bit of a situation in regards to multiple women already in or in already relationships bro why 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 is it um why is that a problem though like why i'm not understanding bro why are you trying to deal with chicks uh that are already involved with other people there's plenty of chicks for everybody out here Sensei stuff, bro, that's so funny. Never expected you to be a dealer. <laughs> Yo, people say the same thing, bro. Like, I, I don't really talk about like those times in my life, bro. That's when I was younger. That's when that's like the first time when I was making like real, real money too, and like had like everybody know who you are. Like I already been like a popular guy, but like, you know, everybody extra knows who you are now because now you you got something that everybody needs. But yeah, man, that's funny. People say the same shit. Bill me, what does it mean when a woman show ridiculous amount of choosing signals, touching you, not being able to look you in the eye, looking down, dressing nice for you, but she already in a relationship? Bro, why is you worried about all that shit? What do you mean? What does it mean? It means she's fucking with you, but fucking with him. And if she's fucking you and she's fucking him, she's fucking with both of y'all. What do you mean? What does it mean? Y'all got to pay attention to what y'all want, bro. If I want this chick fucking me, she fucking me cool. I don't give a damn about whatever she do with whoever she does it with, bro. These choosing signals, touching you, not being able to look at you in the eye, dressing nice for you, but she ran late and built me. That's what I'm saying. The one thing I'm missing from seeing in here is fucking you. <laughs> like, 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 let me replay this shit. What does it mean when a woman show ridiculous? Because it would be no, what does it mean? You understand? It would be like this. You know, I really like this chick because she shows me a ridiculous amount of choosing signals. She touches me all the time. You know, she's always not being able to keep eye contact with me. Like, I make her nervous. Plus, she always comes over, fucks me at least by 1 o'clock in the morning, man. I love this chick. It's great. I mean, I like this chick. It's great. There would be no what does it mean. See, it only there's only a what does it mean because you ain't getting nowhere with this chick. What do you mean what does it mean? It means she ain't fucking with you. What do you mean? A ridiculous amount. Pay attention to what she does. See, 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 see. She gives me a ridiculous amount of choosing signals. Doesn't equal your fucking. She's touching you. Doesn't equal your fucking. Being able, not being able to look at you in the eye, looking down. That don't equate to you fucking. You're not fucking. Nothing's happening. Dressing nice for you. You ain't taking the clothes off. So what the fuck you care about how she dressed? See what I mean, bro? When y'all be acting like this, bro. I be having these moments. Just, just let me be, guys. I, I, when I go like this or I have these moments, it's because, bro, I tell y'all, I live very logic, like logical. I'm very, I'm very a logical dude, bro. 
So that's how I want y'all to be, bro. Why y'all worrying about all this other shit she's doing? <laughs> Yo, okay, so she did all of that. Now, next, you told her, hey, yo, come back to my house at 8 o'clock and shit. Like, I'm trying to hook up. No, oh, stop playing. Bro, stop. You know I'm trying to hook up. Like, come on, you always come over here. You be flirting with me. You know you think I'm sexy. I think you sexy. For real, for real, though. Come back. 8 o'clock. I got a bottle of wine and shit. We're going to make it happen. And she's like, oh, but I don't know. And then, listen, listen, listen. Well, you got my number. Hit me up and shit. She hit me up. And then she comes through. Let's say, so you didn't think she was going to, and then she's like, oh, actually, I can make it. And you're like, cool. She comes through, right? And when she comes through the door, you grab the bitch by the throat. And you're like, damn, I couldn't wait to see you. And you start kissing her, right? And you're like, come inside. Close the door. You lock the door. You go upstairs, right? And then you turn her around by the arm. You pick her up in your arms and walk her to the bedroom, right? Put the bitch on the bed. Start tonguing her down. Unbuckling her pants. Why you don't care about that? Like, why is there, like... You're asking, what does it mean, bro? You got to be direct, bro. That's why, like, y'all be giving these chicks way too much attention. What does it mean if this chick is doing all of this shit? Honestly, if she wasn't trying to fuck or if she wasn't trying to make shit happen, then I wouldn't even be looking back at her. See, for you to understand that she's giving you these choosing signals and all of this shit, you got to be paying attention to her. You got to be creeping. You got to be watching her. Shouldn't even know all of that. You should just see a chick. The last chick I approached at my job, right? I didn't even, she didn't even know I existed. Like, I seen her about, like, three times, but it's because she was, like, in a different department. I would see her walking past, walking past, walking past, right? So then, like, the third time I seen her, like, she was coming over by me. She, bro, that's when I just fucking talked to her. She didn't even know I existed. So when y'all be like, yo, when I'm seeing the, uh, she's giving me choosing signals. Nigga, why are you not walking up to her, bro? Just talk to her. And tell her what you want to happen. Marquel McLaughlin, McLaughlin, new Hem Gang member. Let's get it. Stocko, been a member for two months. I'm telling you, he been here. He been consistent, bro. Gang, Hem Gang members in the building. This one I'm gonna start doing too. I'm about to, I'm about to start picking like a Hem Gang member a month or something. I gotta work on it. I'm gonna send you guys like free merch. I'm gonna send you guys stuff just for copping the membership, bro. Loyalty, loyalty. Sensei Stealth says, thank you, Justin. I appreciate that, dog. I have taken big risks in life, and they have always worked out, but this move is the riskiest I've done. I'm scared for it, but I got to do it. Bro, I changed the complete location. I mean, it's not as drastic, but I changed my location to move where I'm at right now, bro, and it's like everything is working out perfect, bro. Ever since I came up here in my life, the ball's been rolling. Even though it was rolling before, it just picked up even heavier. All right, all right. I'm about to open up the lines. If you guys want to call in, you could call in, talk real quick. But um, I got two more things on the list that I want to talk about really quick just to like open up your brains, right? You know, chasing doesn't equal sex appeal and that's kind of like what i was getting at with uh you know when i was just answering that comment like what's up with this uh with this shit of like she's getting me these choosing signals and and this and that and what does it mean and shit look chasing worrying about everything else besides what she's doing doesn't equal like sex appeal like you're worried about shit that don't concern you i'm worried about what the hell she's doing and i'm worried i'm worried about what the hell i'm doing what moves i'm making to make her reciprocate the move I'm not worried about what the hell she's doing. If she keep looking at me, if she tells me I'm so handsome, if she tells me I'm so attractive, blah, 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 I don't care. Come over to my house tonight at eight o'clock. Yo, meet me at this bar at nine o'clock. Yo, grab this and then come to my house. That's all I care about. Because as a man, bro, when you have a mouthpiece and you know how to flirt with a woman and you can tell when a woman is feeling you, all that other shit is peanuts. So all that is like, what does it mean when she's giving me choosing signal? Real motherfuckers don't even wait for choosing signals. What is a choosing signal? I, of course, I'm, I know what a choosing signal is, but 
Bro, you should be so comfortable talking to a chick. That's why I tell you dudes, when you go out and you talk to a chick, say hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Gauge her reaction. Off of that, keep talking. If not, walk the fuck away. Step off. But it's just showing people, you know, common decency out in public. I don't think a lot of dudes are used to that. So, like, chasing doesn't equal sex appeal. I want y'all to really understand that. When you chase a chick, look, a chick can actually think that you're very sexually appealing, uh, sexually, I mean, physically attractive. And then by you chasing and just acting like, just like a beta male and shit, right? When you keep chasing and chasing for her validation, her attention and all this goofy shit. But, and I know you've been conditioned to do so, but I'm saying when you keep doing that, it kind of, it turns her off from you, bro. And you was in there. A lot of times dudes want to know why. Why was she coming so heavy? She was coming in hot and heavy, but then she fell off the face of the planet, like out of nowhere. It's because you were chasing, bro. You wasn't giving her a time to chase you. You weren't giving her a time to chase you. And look, when I open up these calls, these, these, the, the phone line to get your call in, it's only for asking questions. It's not for you to tell stories and all of this stuff. Is to ask questions. I'm teaching. Or if you want to tell me how much my stuff has helped your situation, cool. But all the, like these long stories and stuff, no. You guys want to talk to me on the back end, one-on-one -on -one coaching calls. I want to take this time to answer questions and actually help. You know, the whole story time thing, it's going to get in the way of that. Actually, I got another one on the list. And I want to talk about this real quick before we get into this. I'm going to help you guys. You know, in this space, you got dudes talking about, you know, um, you know, if this was back in the day, women would be, uh, you know, better women and this, that, and the third, and that things would be easier or whatever. Let me, let me tell you something. Many men, what, I got it written down right here, bro. Let me tell you something. Many men are stuck in the 1950s and 60s, but you didn't come up in that time. You wouldn't be able to enjoy everything that you enjoy now, i.e. right now, the internet, your cell phone, your laptop, your tablet, all this stuff. So for a woman, y'all want to go back in time? What is up with y'all? Chasing women? When you ever hear a dude talking about like, Women weren't like this back then and blah, 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 blah. Yo, you still chasing women in your mind, bro. Why do y'all, why do you care about women so much? Look, you know how you make money with your phone, with your tablet, with your laptop, with the internet. You've got access to things you've never had access to before. In a time where women make it easy as hell to have access to them due to the internet. You're talking about some 1950s and 60s and shit. Dudes chased women back then too. It was just packaged up nicer. It's called courting. But the only difference is you knew that, you know, so, uh, mo most of the time the chick you were courting, like, probably wasn't seeing anybody else. <laughs> they want to go back in time to chase women. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. But you're in a time where it's easy as hell to get a woman. Easy as hell. But, oh, man, you know, back in the 60s and the 50s, they didn't have problems like this. Problems like what? Women are not the cause of any dude's problems. A dude is responsible for his problems. I want y'all to understand that, bro. When you treat yourself like a king, you're going to get king's treatment. It's undeniable, brother. When you respect yourself, you're going to get respect, bro. Many men have been conditioned to chase women. I'm telling you, bro, to the point they have goofy rhetoric like that. Like, oh, back in the day, you know, then families were being blah, 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 blah. It's not true, bro. It's not true. See, when your mind is like stuck on women, I'm going to say it again. You make money. You can make money from your phone, computer, laptop, internet, all of this shit, bro. You can make money from your car. You can Uber Eats. You can do all of this shit. There's so many ways to become successful, stack your bread up, become the man that you really want to fucking be, bro. 
And you talking about, oh, well, they women wasn't like this back then. I don't give a damn what women was like. Women always been women. Women are a luxury. Ryan, what the hell do you mean by that, bro? Women are a luxury. I don't even like how that sounds. I don't like how that sounds, bro. Exactly, simp. <laughs> like, yo, these dudes be thinking that like they know what they're saying. You don't know what you're saying. In my experience, another example of, in my experience, women are luxury. Because you don't have women. You don't get women on a consistent basis that like you like that. So women are a luxury to you in your experience. All right, I'm about to put the number in here by open up the lines. The number is also in the description, guys. You guys got the number you could call up and I'm letting you know right now, if you call up trying to troll, I don't care. You're going to be gone. So just call up and ask your questions and let that be that. If you don't want to call, uh, if you don't want to call up, it's perfectly fine. You know, we got through the live. I just figured I'd do something like this extra for you guys. Okay, Suzy, Sozy, Sozy Surrealism, direct game or indirect game, Justin? Game is game. It's about you, dog. It's like, so either you're going to be indirect, the indirect motherfucker, or you're going to be a direct motherfucker. Do you understand? You can't detach from shit, bro. You can't say, well, should I use indirect game? No, you're just an indirect motherfucker. Don't blame it on that. If you direct, you a direct motherfucker. That's all it is. I'm very direct. That's why I tell you, dude, I don't say like indirect game. I just say like you're very indirect. You are like you are, bro. Remember when I said like your nose, it can't come off. Your ears, it can't come off. It's, it's who you are, dog. Call back, call back. I don't know what happened, but uh, call back. Sonor Frio, and that's why I prefer to deal with chicks. I can lift, pick them up with ease. I'm not struggling. What does that have to do with anything, bro? Rock and Flip says, just wanted to let you know, Jay, that you are helping older fellas like myself ever since the Invisible Man video dropped. I've been tuned in and I'm hoping to get a one on one coaching with you next week, brother. I'm glad that I can provide help, bro. I'm glad that, you know, you guys found a space where you can learn and become a more successful version of yourself. And we can definitely get on that one on one call. Definitely be available for that. Somebody left a voicemail? Why would you leave a voicemail? The lines are open. You can call in if you want. The number is pinned. If not, okay, let's go. What's up?
I don't know. Call's ending. I don't know what's wrong with you guys. Just, I don't know what. The Wi-Fi is strong. I don't know what's going on. But, um... Marquel McLaughlin. Word, fam. I thought I was a member before, though. Now, it's all good, bro. Anybody wants to join, it's cool. You know, no matter when you join. What's going on? What's your name? Where are you from? Yo, what's up? Uh, my name is uh, Miguel. Miguel? Uh, Texas, Dallas. Miguel? Yo. What's going on, brother? Nah, nothing. I'm just uh, watching your uh, video right here, live right now. Uh, quick question. Like, if you're in a, a woman's atmosphere and you see, like, hella farm girls, how would you... Uh, you know, you don't want to jump the gun at the same time. How would you approach the woman you really want? Bro, just go up to her and talk to her. What do you mean trying to jump the gun? Yeah, I mean, it's because you don't want to be known as a thirsty guy either. Bro, you see, you worried about what everybody else is talking about. You worried about what everybody else is thinking. Do you want the girl or not? Thanks. So you worried about you worried about getting to what you want or are you worried about what everybody else thinks about you? Exactly. So you go up to the girl, you introduce herself like a proper gentleman would or a proper man, whatever terminology you want to use and let her know, man, I find you very attractive. I had to make my way over here. My name is what's your name or what's your name? My name is introduce yourself. Man. Got it. Anything else, brother? Oh, that's it, bro. Thank you. you got it, brother. Guys, you got to stop making this shit so difficult, bro. Now he did. I, he did say Texas. Um, I tried to connect it to the speaker, but it wasn't working. So we'll have that all figured out on the next call-in show, and we'll have everything situated, guys. I am working to. We're gonna have a microphone. We're gonna have a better setup. We're gonna do lives. We're actually gonna be reacting to things. A lot of things are coming, man. Just stay patient, and um, it's gonna get better. But yes, guys, you have to start going after what you want. That caller was a perfect example of you know thinking about a bunch of shit that don't matter, bro. Why are you worried about all of this stuff? You're thinking about a bunch of shit that doesn't matter. If you want to approach, you don't want to be known as a thirsty guy. What? I want to be known as that guy because I am that guy. That's all they're going to fucking know because I'm that guy. And if I'm not that guy to one person in particular, then I don't give a fuck about them. And I, need, I didn't even to start, you know, I didn't care to start, but I'm just saying you guys got to stop that. You don't want to be known as this thirsty guy, but don't you want to also be known as the guy who's fucking her? Don't you also want to be known as the guy who's dealing with this chick that you want to deal with? <laughs> so you're letting, wait a minute, yo, logic, logically speaking, logically speaking. I know a lot of guys have this mindset. So you want to, you don't want to be known as the thirsty guy. More than you want to be known as the guy who's dealing with that chick that you want to go deal with. Does that make proper sense? See what happens when you worry about everybody besides yourself? You see exactly what happens when you worry about everyone besides yourself. You don't go after what you want and you psych yourself out. That was a good call. Said that light is trippy. I need that. Yeah, man. I'm telling you. And they set the mood. Here's game, bro. They set the mood for chicks. When you got chicks over and she got the lights and shit. JKOG says a vid on direct game would be nice. Bro, I do plans with you on the one-on-one -on -one calls. We go over everything, bro. Uh-uh. Bro, I do, I do a little bit of things on videos like, bro, I could teach you how to make a fire dating profile. I got literally a list of things to say, you know, so you can keep the conversation going because that's another thing that dudes have a problem with. But also that's inside of you. But they're also interesting, interesting things to say to keep the conversation fun. Bro, I got so many things that I haven't even released yet. Get on the one on one coaching, bro. That's some shit that like, nah, bro. Vid on direct game would be nice. Nah, bro. You you think the shit I'm telling you here, bro, I give you guys mad gems, bro. I have a whole mouthpiece video. 
that doesn't even really go like fully in depth. Even the things I tell you here, even the things I tell you here, it's just like surface level. There are so many things you could say to a woman to make her think like, yo, he stands apart. And you're not being like overly aggressive, but I'm not going to sit here and spit out everything on camera, bro. So like JKOG, if you want some real life coaching, get on the one-on-one -on -one calls, Justin J underscore Instagram, brother, because I don't understand what you don't even see. You're looking for like you. This is the thing what you do. You want there to be a hundred percent for sure. Like I want a hundred percent chance that I won't get rejected. Impossible. How did you not take what I said here? No, I got you, brother. I just want you to understand. You know, like, even the stuff I say here, go out, bro. Say it. Say it, brother. There's no 100% guarantee. There's nothing that could tell you how they tell you, like, well, if you buy this, there's a hundred, there's a 90% chance that you'll feel better and blah, 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 blah. But also at the end of there, it's like, blah, 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 and you can also, nah, 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 nah. you got to read the fine shit, bro. Not everything's going to work out, bro. So you got to go be direct. Cool boy Kato said, the fuck is indirect game? Yo, I'm laughing. You know what? Let's talk about it, bro. We done got through the list. I'm about to, I'm, bro, let's talk about this shit, bro. Exactly. The questions they ask show they're not even listening to the videos. All right, let's talk about this shit, bro. Everybody on this red pill shit. Oh, we red pill. We black pill. We this pill. We this pill. Bro, you take that shit one time, you understand the truth, you're good to go. You're good to go. That shit helps you out in all types of situations with women. You're good to go. Women can never manipulate you. They try to come at you. Yo, deflect. Like, you're good. It's it's over with. It's over. It's over now. The fuck is this, man? So what was before Red Pill? A lot of y'all be saying this shit and be watching this shit. Y'all don't even know where, like, the basis and anything and shit came from. So what was before the Red Pill? Simp Pill. They didn't even make that shit. Man Pill. Me Pill. My Pill. I, t I was saying that the other day. I'm going to make another a pill called me pill my pill because people like with the whole confident self-centered arrogant and shit me pill i get high off of me pill the me pill says a, a woman not special thank you thank you sozy got it pua pua so in the with the puas purple pill blue pill gold pill yellow pill all these goddamn pills you're gonna overdose oh the logic pill we should make that too all right so it was the puas right before the red pill so weren't the PUAs going out there showing dudes how to get women, do tricks, uh, dress like this, dress uh, eccentric, all this dumb shit, right? Get women, lie to women, manipulate women, first night lay with women, all of this shit, right? So that was before then. So that was teaching men how to get shit done, right? Right? So why is it that, isn't it funny that like now PUAs are nowhere to be found and we got this whole shit of like men going their own way and um like uh, the red pill and blah, 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 blah. Look, I'm not saying that a lot of the talking points that red pill have are not true. There's a lot of truth to it, but a lot of dudes run to that shit for coping. Exactly. J pill. Let's, call, let's come up with that. A lot of people run to this red pill shit to cope. You know? So think about that, bro. You had PUA that was teaching you how to get women, and now it's like kind of like the reverse. Dudes are complaining about women, yet the dudes are really good with women. Don't complain about women like that. They don't complain about women like that. It's only the dudes who have a hard time with women who run around talking about, oh, I'm red pill, I'm black, I'm black pill. I posted this, this article on my um, my Instagram story the other day. You know, you there was some shooting, the Plymouth shooting, something like that. And this guy was calling himself an incel. Calling himself, the, he, was, he was listening to black pill videos. Killed his mom and shit, like shot, shot a bunch of people up. This shit is dangerous, bro, for your mental. Who is this? Who am I speaking with? Who you, well, where are you calling from? Hello? Going once? Going twice? Okay. So yeah, as I was saying, like this black, this dude who's watching black pill videos started shooting. 
Cause and he blamed all his troubles in life on not having a girlfriend. Do you see what I'm telling you? All these pills and this goofy shit. Stop listening. Stop. Stop. Yeah, hello. What's going on? Who am I? Who am I speaking with? Where are you calling from, brother? Uh, I'm from Texas. This, this is Nate. What's going on, brother? I just want to say I appreciate you, bro. Like, you put me on game, bro. I appreciate you. That's what I'm here for, brother. All right, so, hey, is there something wrong with me? Like, I, I don't want to approach females. Like, not, not, not in the, like, I don't get females type way, but it's like, it's like peer pressure. Like, they need to be telling me, like, yo, you should, you should, like, like society. Be like, yo, you should. So, uh, so you've been watching my videos for a while now, right? Yeah, what's up? What do I tell you about society and what society tells you to do and think? But what they think. Exactly. So why are you even asking the question in the first place if you've been watching the videos for a while now? Confirmation, bro. Confirmation, bro. If you're listening to the videos and applying them to your life, you already had the answer to this shit. But I'm trying to show you in real timing that you're in your own way. It's nobody else. It's not society. Is you because if you found my stuff is helping you and I gave you the answer and you need confirmation, brother, you understand how serious your life is, right? Yeah. You only get one and it could even end tomorrow. Fuck what society says. Go after what you want. Okay. You're, 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 you're having like the same rhetoric as the last dude who called in worrying about how people see him and how you're going to look. Worry about how you feel and how you see yourself, not worrying about how everybody on the outside sees you, okay? Yes, sir. All right, good call, brother. Yeah, man. You guys got to understand this shit, bro. You cannot worry about anybody outside of yourself. You have to worry about how you see yourself. Like I told you in the Handsome Man Game video, you're going to see that women just confirm what you know. When you're a very strong leader type of dude, strong in your spot, when people come around trying to be all up under you and like follow you and shit, you're going to be like, oh shit, well it makes sense because I'm a leader. I've been doing this shit for a long time now. People look up to me all the time. Be a leader, man. Fuck all this society shit. You know what, bro? In, in um, tomorrow's video, I think Tuesday's video, I'm going to do the topic. You know, we're going to do a masculine mindset video. And we're going to fucking talk about society. And we're going to go in. I'm going to make that shit like a 20, 30 minute video. Because we got to stop with this society shit, bro. Society said this. Have I ever cheated? Yes. So yeah, man. Like I'm talking about with this shit, man. The red pill, the black pill. Listen, man, be who you want to be, dog. Stop with this goofiness, man. You're, you don't got a chiseled jawline. Um, you're not six foot. You're not blah, 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 bro. MGTOW. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, what the... F what is MGTOW? Like, men going their own way. If you're going your own fucking way, go your own way. Why you need a fucking click of dudes to tell you, like... Like, I always laugh when I see these dudes in the comment section or whatever, and it'll be like MGTOW in front of their names. Like MGTOW Mike or like MGTOW Tim. And I'm like, bro, are you fucking nuts? Bruh. That's the first thing I start thinking like, bro, are you fucking dumb? Why would you? Uh, but to each his own. But that, 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 this is what I'm saying though. If you want to help yourself, why are you running away from what you really want? Because pay attention, right? I know I'm going to get some pushback, but like, guys, I got to be logical with yourselves. If women are not special, if you're going your own way and y'all don't care about women like this and, um, you know, she'll take your kids and she'll divorce you and she'll take all your money and blah, and women are hypergamous and these women in their hypergamous nature, if, right? If all of that bullshit, right? Then why is all of these cliques centered around women? So why are men going their own way? Going their own way from what? From women. Right? The red pill and all of this shit teaching you female nature for you to stay away from the women. The black pill is telling you that you have to look a certain way or you won't get the women. Why are women at the center of this shit? Now, what's the title of today's live stream? So do not fucking adopt your mindset. Like, do not make it go there, please. 
Because all you're going to do is repel women from you. Women are on this shit too. Women are not dumb, bro. They watch this shit. They watch Fresh and Fit. They know about that shit. Not a lot of women, but a good majority. A lot of women are onto this shit. So if you start talking to any, if you start talking any of that goofy shit, a woman gonna look at you like you're fucking goofy. And like I said with this black pill shit, caught wind in one of them videos. I caught wind of one of those videos. You got the nerve to talk about you're calling yourself a sub five. You're calling yourself a fucking normie. Are you fucking dumb, bro? You calling yourself sub something. You're calling yourself normie. Are you insane? What's going on, bro? Who am I speaking to? Where are you calling from? Yo, what up, Justin? My name's Christian. I'm from Arizona. What's going on, Chris? Um, so, I've been using the direct game, man, like, on most of these emails. Some of them give me, like, you know, the same energy back. You know, we get stuff going. But most of them, they're always on some, like, low shit. You know, they're on some games. Like, they give me mixed signals. I don't know if, like, my mouthpiece isn't that strong or they're just, like, not, not down for it. Bro, it's a numbers game. If they're not feeling you like that, you got to keep spitting your shit. You hear me? Yeah. Bro, stop let don't, don't take that shit to heart. You got to keep spitting your shit, bro. And like I said, you can jump on a one-on-one -on -one call with me, bro. I got 35 openers. We, you can perfect your opener. But realistically speaking, bro, the only thing that you're trying to do is introduce yourself and leave a chick with your number and keep it pushing. If you're on an app, you're trying to do the same shit and literally get the number. Keep it pushing. If she's not trying to do that, rinse, wash, repeat. You keep doing it over and over and over again. Now, if you called and said, I took 100 rejections in a row, I would say, now we got a problem. But this is just the way it goes. Yeah, you see, like, I, just, I get the number and all. I, I, get, I send the message. I get a response. And, you know, I get the day going. But then when it comes down to it, you know, it just doesn't happen. So that's what I'm saying. Like, I guess I just got to keep moving on with the set. Yeah, now you good. Just keep playing the numbers game. All right, bro. All right, good call, brother. Yeah, man, don't 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 think that you got to do anything special or that these chicks or whatever. Nah, bro, just play the numbers game, brother. Play the numbers game. That's all it is. Yo, dudes is funny as hell. Y'all got jokes, bro. Dude said, bro. Dude said, bro is the hood. No nonsense. Austin Dunham. Yo, you funny as hell. So I'm telling you, bro. Like, no nonsense, bro. I don't waste no time with these chicks. Yeah, but let me, let me get back on this shit, man. We're going to talk about this shit. Excuse me. All of this black pill shit... This red pill shit, bro, this shit is, bro, you take the red pill one time in a movie, then he take the shit one time, he was freaking out and shit, he's like, oh shit, what the fuck, then he got used to it, do that powers and shit, right, so he took it one time, then he adjusted, why is dudes watching these videos over and over and over again, and we're gonna talk about something else too, who's on the line, where are you from? Oh, what's, what's going on, Jonathan? What's going on, brother? Yeah, I'm, I'm Steve. I'm from Maryland. I just had a financial question for you. Yeah, go ahead. So, like, in your early 20s, how hard were you saving? Not not hard at all. Because, um, I'm trying to have, like, a substantial saving, saving account, but that's, like, that's really hard saving. Uh-huh. So I just need, like, an ideal number. That I can strive well, for. you know, you can't really discuss your finances on here, but, uh, you know, you're going to want to put a little bit of money in your pocket and whatever you make, bro, you're going to have to put it away and live like a minimalist. The only problem is it's hard for you because you're younger. I don't know if you like going out, but you're going to have to stay inside. You're going to have to stay to yourself and only go out and like treat yourself to things maybe once every few months. And save all of your money, bro. That's how you're going to be able to save all of your money. All right, I appreciate it, Jocelyn. Nah, I got you. Good call, brother. All right. <clears throat> yeah, so let me keep... Bro, let me keep going on about this shit, man. This black pill, 
uh, red pill, MGTOW, whatever. Listen, bro, this is all short for women don't like me like that. Women don't like me like that, okay? Because let me tell you something. Women like all types of dudes. So a lot of you guys follow dudes and you instantly start like judging another man's looks and stuff. That's why in the Handsome Man Game videos, when people come in the comments like, he's not handsome and this. I'm like, bro, well, I'm good with women. So that don't mean shit to me. A lot of y'all guys got to stop with this, like trying to live through the YouTubers or I don't think you're really understanding because even still with the, the, the waffles, dude, if you watch a black pill video and you're letting somebody tell you. I'm a sub five and, and you're following these ch these scales. That's very weird, bro. That's very weird. It's either you're good with women or you're not, bro. There's no, I'm a sub five and I'm a this and I'm a, bro, do you think women talk like, and this is the funniest thing about the black pill, red pill and all this shit. You think women talk about this shit? I'm going out with the Chad tonight. Oh, she tells her friend, I'm going out with a Tyrone tonight. Oh, well, this sub five approached me today. He's a normie, so I don't really... I told him to step off. I didn't want to give him my number because he's a normie. You've literally adapted... Like, they've made their own language to pretty much make you a loser. Then when you got people like me who come in the mix and try to give you a solution, it's kind of like, well, this guy's weird, and what kind of fucking reaction is that, and blah, 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 blah. No, 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 no. These pills keeping you sick. Who's on the line? Who's calling? Where are you from? Yo, what up, man? My name is Zion. I'm calling from DC. What's good, Zion? What's good, man? Not much, not much. So, uh, quick question. So, I, I, I posted videos about um, baddies at the gym. Um, my central market value is pretty high. Um, I am a handsome man. My priorities are extremely straight, so I don't really care to be going out some kind of like a household. The most time I'm around women is at the gym. Um, so, what I'm trying to ask is, I know you said that, um, checking out the mirrors the way to educate whether or not they're, they're you know they're peeping at you and another one was um finding them at the right time so like not necessarily putting them up at the gym but like like outside of the gym and, mm -hmm. and whatnot so but so I, my question now I, I want to ask is how about they're coaching them at the gym i mean because i know being at the gym in the environment is when you're just getting shit done and then out but my gym got some baddies so like Bro, I'm getting annoyed with this call. Your rhetoric is like, come on, man, baddies and all this stuff. So what's the question? So you want to know how to how to approach these chicks at the gym? Yeah. Bro, you wait. If you're walking in at the same time, y'all by the front desk, say something. If you're leaving at the same time, you happen to be leaving, you say something. You don't really need to interrupt her or want to at that point if you guys are already in, uh, in your workout. You should be focused on your workout and she's nine times out of ten going to be focused on her workout. You wait. If you are walking in at the same time, you see her at the front desk, you see her somewhere there, you can approach. You see her walking out. You happen to be walking out at the same time. Approach. Or you could just go and approach all together. All right? But the most important part is focus on your workout, brother. Okay. I got you. All right? Good call, brother. Oh, my SMV and my 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 SMV and I'm pretty this and I'm that and I'm that. So why the fuck you can't just walk up to a chicken in the gym, bro, if you all of this shit? That don't really make you sexually appealing. He knows that. That's why he was saying all that bullshit. Yeah, man. Saying calling these chicks baddies. That's what I'm saying. You at the gym to get baki. And you're choosing to look at baddies. What would I rate myself? Don't worry about that. Worry about what you would rate yourself. That's it. You worry about what you would rate yourself. Right? What would I rate myself? Why do you need to know that? I'm not, you're not me. And I'm not you. I rate myself king. That's what I rate myself. K-I-N-G. That's what I rate myself. That's good for you, stoic poet. So why is there not a picture? Like, why don't you have a YouTube channel? Why aren't you spitting game for these dudes? Why aren't you showing them how it really goes? You're asking another man what he would rate himself. You know, I kicked out. I, if you guys want to see, I'm going to tell the story right now. The dude who, his name was Jan Aru. Guys, if you pay if you paid attention to one of the live stream where I kicked the dude out, I just 
And you were like, and then people were like, yeah, he probably asked some rainbow question or whatever. He asked me my body count in the chat. He asked me my body count. Had to go. This is like, I'm tired of this goofiness, bro. I'm tired of this goofiness, bro. Why the hell would you ask another man that, bro? What the fuck is wrong with you? It's bad enough y'all buy y'all badger women. It's bad enough y'all will literally pay a freaking uh, a YouTuber fifty dollars to disrespect a chick on a panel because you're a loser. You'll pay twenty five dollars, twenty five and and or two dollars to throw an insult at a chick because you're a loser. You're gonna ask another man his body count. Dating tips for guys in high school. I don't party and stuff like that, and I don't want to shoot my shot though through IG. Bro, you got to walk up to chicks and talk to them. You're in high school, bro. This is going to be like one of the easiest times in your life. You got to talk to chicks, bro. And you got so many things, bro. You got dances. You got sports. You got everything, bro. Talk to chicks. Let me, let me, let me explain this story, right, in high school. I think I told this story in one of my videos. One of the flyest girls in high school, right? I was a uh, I was a sophomore. She was a junior. So I waited until I was a junior and she was a senior. I gave her this note and I was like shitting bricks. You know, she was always smiling at me, always flirting, like always all this shit. Right. And she was fly. You know, like she was fly. I wrote down a note and I gave it to her. I come to school the next day. I'm like, fuck, like I shouldn't have gave her that note. Like, I shouldn't have give her that note. Right. So last period, no, we yeah, we saw each other the last period, and then I, for some reason, I didn't see her through the day, last period, I walk up to her, and my heart is beating fast as hell at that time. And she's like, oh my God, I never knew you felt like that. I feel the exact same way. What took you so long to tell me? See? You can't be waiting on it. Bro, that, that story, I say that story to say that... When you let rejection and fear control you, you're never going to get what you want. And I wanted that girl that bad. And just for me being all like pussified, still writing a note, it worked. But if I never wrote the note, if I never, you know, whatever, would it never, we would have never continued that year, like dating and shit. See, Slim TV, yeah, I wasted my high school years. I was a coward, bro. I dated the hottest chick in my school because I passed that fucking note off. But I thought I couldn't do it because she was the hottest chick in my school. Trust first 313 says, what the fuck is wrong with some of these guys? Man, I'm telling you, they just, because you know why that dude had asked me that with the whole body count question? Because like I said, y'all dudes try to, a lot, not, yeah, not all of you, but some, certain subscribers, they don't look like the guy they're subscribed to at all. They're not, they don't view themselves as a king, you know, they don't. So they're trying to like, oh, well, if I remember the rhetoric I said of, I hate when people do this. Well, if I was him, I would get with these type of girls. And if I was him, I would do this because he's popular. And if I was him, instead of just understanding that you're special as an individual. So they ask questions like that. The goofy dude general, what's your body count? He's asking that because if I give a number and his is close to there, he thinks he's that guy because he's making it all about women. You understand? Because what if I came out, we know it's a lie, but what if I came out and said two, five, ten? Is that going to make you feel more like the man because your number's closer to mine when really you need to be focusing on what the fuck you got going on? Exactly. Slim TV. Real talk. A lot of these dudes are in a perpetual competition with other dudes so they can compare and validate themselves. Exactly. So why dudes are like, oh, I see him with that chain. I want to get that same chain. Oh, he got that car. He gets he gets girls. I want that car and so on and so forth. All right, guys, well, I'm going to wrap it up and get out of here. My main chick is going to cook us something nice, and I'm going to keep working out. I already got one workout down. I got another one to go. So listen, 
it's been fun. This live call, this, this live stream, you know, with the call in show, it's been actually fun. I'm going to make sure that you guys can hear it louder on the next time that we do run a live call in show. And I just want to let you know, man, you know, a lot of dudes with this conditioning and shit, cut it out. Cut it out. Cut it out. You know, never chase a woman. Make her chase you. But it all starts with you viewing yourself as like you're that fucking dude. You're in the front of the picture. She can stand beside or she can be in the back. But you're at the head of the fucking picture, bro. It's all about you. It's not about her. All right? Respect over love. Self-respect. And treat yourself like a king because you are him and they are just them. And it's simply the truth, and it's just like that. Stay positive, my brothers. See you in the next live.